perspective is crazy. It's reality. I had another point to that, but I lost it. I was thinking of other analogies for amusement parks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, nigga. That's gonna be in a bit. Not a bit, but it's just. That's you know. gonna be in a bit. He's gonna tear a. He gonna tell a terrible joke off that. <laughs> I might turn your fucking trench coat into a bit, nigga. Don't fuck it. Yeah, oh, it wasn't a, terrible when you was holding it. It wasn't cold, terrible, wait, but it's kind of it's it's kind of funny now. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't terrible. Wait, why were you holding his coat like that anyway? And, and yeah, holding his saying. coat. What do you mean? He said it wasn't terrible when you holding it. Like, First of all, that. he begged me to put the coat on. I refused. I kept telling him, "I don't uh, uh, wear your jacket." Just no, trust that's me. not. <laughs> I don't need to try no. your jacket. He was like, "Trust no, me, nigga, put it on." Because he was like, "Oh, that's what you mean by holding." That's all it was. Oh yeah, it was just like okay because he was looking at it unspinosely, like he was. Kind of wanted to, like, he, like he kind of <laughs> like wanted to, you know the word, like he kind of wanted to hold it. Do you? He kind of wanted to look at it, see the tag, which yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's a nice jacket. I'm gonna take a look right Justin now. Actually, it, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna take a look right but now. Hold on, wait, hold on. No, Lord, don't do it. That's wait, exactly what he wants. No, 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 no that's he, okay. I'm, when I'm, he pulled, I'm buying into what? it. That's fine. When he I'm buying into it. Did you see what he just did? Yeah, he's crazy. When he pulled the jacket out the bag, Justin went around the room. He's like, everybody, touch my new jacket. I promise you, it's twenty eight dollars. Hey, hey, it was not that exaggerated, you fuck nigga. And we can we can start the buy off like is, that. Me showing off my jacket. He, you want to start? But hold on, the Lord, come put his jacket. It's good on. that he's lighting up because we do know sometimes he likes to keep things close because he doesn't know if it's gonna get lost in here. Keep you know what I'm saying? Because he does. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You real precious with your shit. Oh well, that's that's uh, inside <laughs> office joke. <laughs> I'm glad we got those now. <laughs> you, <laughs> for those who don't know, Jay Nobles, but um, he don't just leave his shit first anywhere. First of all, London fog. Okay. London fog. Keep the tag on. The tag is on for now. It's at Thrift Wiz, Thrift first of all. You, you Try wanna... it on, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> and then come in the frame. It is, yeah, it is extra large. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, Lauren. Okay, That's what Lauren. I'm saying. Yeah, You yeah. look like you're going to bring your kid to work there <laughs> with your dad. Yeah, I was about to say. They look like cartoons when they fucking, like, dress up as, like... Yeah. You, you need another short friend. You look like you're dressing person. up as your father. <laughs> 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 now nah, he just need another short buddy. They could be one person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, it's 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 a very nice jacket. It's a very nice and jacket. You can take out the fur. You can zip off the fur and be a fashionista. You can zip off the fur. Yeah, yeah. on can, the inside. You can go from Zipping inspector. Off the fur kind of brings it down a little bit for me. A little bit, right? Because you go from inspector gadget no, to, no. to drag. Zipping thing. off the fur. Yeah, like the ability to do that takes it down a notch for me. It's like having <laughs> it's like having pants that I can turn into shorts. Like for what? It's cheap. Right, no. like, you know what I mean. You like, well, oh. I, this should be its own thing already. You, see, you know what I'm saying? You coming from I'm a ja- coming from a Jamaican, I would, think, all this I would think that you would like, as your people would like, functionality. Yeah, Being but that y'all are constantly. No, no, like, no, I'm not saying there's anything the wrong with functionality. I'm just saying when I picked it up and looked at it first, I was like, oh, this is kind of nice. Like, this is, I like the way they did this. Now you're telling me you could zip that off. I'm like. Oh, wow. this must not be that precious but of a material. Not, but, but let's no, 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 not keep it on. Like you know what I'm saying? That's we can take true. it on and off. If you if you if you know anything about <laughs> manufacturing, I like the way you think. Which more. I know you know. There's quality in zippers. It's a nice zipper, but zippers you didn't suck check for the most part. But continue. But like Wait, I you said, said, those zippers suck or zippers in general. Zippers suck? in general kind of suck. But no, how do you feel about all, his zippers? First of all, I haven't used them yet. Zippers in general. It's like, do they suck? That's like saying Velcro. You got to get to really high end. There's quality of everything. You got to get to real high end for a zipper to be good, low key. There's you levels. Do. You do. There's levels. You do. You do. How? You have to. No. By how? By purchasing better quality garments. By hmm. sourcing your material. How properly. good is that? Zipper? But you know, you know what's crazy? Because I was trying. To, I was trying to see if I could summon it real quick in a moment. I used to know the difference between good zippers and bad zippers. Yeah, yeah. There's a company that make like you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a company that makes the real legit uh, legit zippers. Yeah. The zip. Go ahead. That's all I have for you. Google it. Uh, a good zipper goes up. Well, nah, but I'm, it's a corporation. This, bro, Google said a good zipper goes up and down and easily and doesn't come apart in use. Have you ever seen Google look fly? <laughs> what the fuck? Are you surprised, nigga? This nigga just said. Hey, I still don't have fashion sense. That's what a zipper is. Yeah, essentially. Um, this well, is stupid. But, but to their point, a bad zipper doesn't do that. Yeah. A bad zipper doesn't go up and down. At least smoothly. Yeah, at least smoothly. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know. If, if there's any uh, Italian nigga in the comment section, just yeah. comment down below if we write it wrong. Overall, though, your jacket isn't, like, terrible. The only thing that <laughs> I really bring into question is, nigga, it's 72 degrees outside. What are you doing? It isn't, like, so, terrible. So, but that's why when I said you can take off, it's functional. You can take off the fur. It don't matter if there's fur on I, that I get or what not, you're nigga. saying, it's... and I even, that's what I was telling Jeff and the other people in this room. Because he told everybody nigga about his fucking who's jacket. over talking. But I was, like, it's kind of a piece <laughs> that you could just kind of pull out. And it's... It's it, about to get warm, but it's still... It does feel like a piece that you pulled out because you wanted us to see because it's not the right temperature for it. Yeah. Right. No, no. It, it does feel that way. I'm just saying it. No, I, like, just, I just bought you it. You know, today is what are you pie talking day. About? It's not show and tell. I, I literally just left the thrift store. Oh, oh, just now. <laughs> yeah, like before the pie, like I was out perusing through the city. Right. Through the, so you wanted, to, you wanted to like rock it up here to make how, make sure it felt good instead of just leaving it in the car for another day where you might no, need no, it. Work so, is sun dry. And that's the thing, okay, right? Okay, when you was going to go take... At three hours ago, get cookout. <laughs> we was, I was kind of explaining that, things. Because he got you a meal as well. Yep, I yep, got yep. me a meal. It wasn't paid for by this nigga. I, 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 but I picked it. it up, motherfucker. You did pick it up, but right, let's so yeah. not you know act like, how many minutes that that's not to act like it wasn't a teamwork it's, type of thing. But you <laughs> said three hours. Work. You probably added another 10 okay. to the trip. That's not true. I texted him right on time. Was that true? I was at, I was ordered. I just finished my order. He nearly missed, right? He nearly missed. I actually, you you know what it was? I got to say, this is how I know I fuck with y'all. And I fuck with you because I literally put my phone down at first and said, it's too late. And I picked it back up. I said, I'm not going to do this nigga like that. I'm going to yeah. get him some food. That's what I'm saying. And I felt like he was I right was there. Literally, I had just wait, said my last wait, thing. Wait, that's, wait, wait, that's how he so, knows. Wait, hold on. Wait, that, that's that, how he knows he likes it. Because he's an asshole. Because he's an asshole. Because, yeah, no, because, yeah, yeah, because, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, because yeah. I had already finished and I held up everybody else to like get you right. I had already finished. Held up everybody yeah, else? Yeah, I did. I care about the world. Well, congratulations, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Nigga, they don't make no revenue. Yeah, I'm about yeah, to say. But, but I am one of them niggas that when I'm riding on the road, I like courtesy. You know what I'm saying? I like people to do things on the road the right way. You know what I'm saying? If there's if there's a if you're the last car before a lane, a turn lane comes, pull up a little bit so the niggas behind you getting that turn lane can get by. You know what I'm saying? That type of shit. I like that. Cause that's how I operate. I'm thinking about, you know, the world. So at the same time, I you know what I'm saying? I was just like, let me get him right because I'm still here. He went in we are the world niggas. You yeah. know his girl hate that. You give the world all this compassion. Yeah, what about me? Yeah, 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 white man. All this shit. Ready? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shit. This nigga ain't nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Despicable. I, uh, I, I, oh, shit. The hell. All right. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah, we just started. Then I'll let niggas know. It's hey, yeah, we get yeah. into it. All right. All right. Three, two, one. Yes, yes, yes. You're here again. Yeah. Once again. <laughs> time and time again. This I don't know. Not, yeah. You're stepping on my intro. My nigga. bad. You, whoa. Yeah. From the top. <laughs> nigga, shut the fuck up. Here again. Now. Once again, time and time again. <laughs> Two of America once wanted at it again. J Nobles. Tone Groove. White Man on the Voice. Yeah. This Who is the LOI the show. Yeah, this is LOI the show. We are back in business. Shout out to lovely ladies of LOI, the Legion of Leisure. Mm -hmm. Um, Everybody who's clicking on it, shout out to all y'all watching it right now live. It's a lot of y'all. It's still crazy the fact that like people are watching this. Yeah, like <laughs> somebody like, donated time. Yeah, donated time. And you can donate money too. Um, yeah, just check out the Patreon. But yeah, if we're funny enough. You yeah, know, yeah, that's yeah. That's on us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um Any other church oh, announcements. We're about to have uh a guest on the show in the future. Yeah. Uh so just to let y'all know, we'd like to you know, be proactive with these things. So just to let y'all know, if y'all want to skip for the interview, you can. Mm -hmm. I don't know the time stamp, but you can just look at it. But uh, other I, than like, that. You know, let's be real. <laughs> you guys come here for us. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to tune into that. That's what time stamps are for. I was about to say. But trust us, we, we scheduled this so you get at least one hour of all three of us pimping. I, I was about to, almost excluded Lauren. Nah, man. The but white, he put on Stunner Shades. The white man, yeah. Uh -huh. He put on Stunner Shades yes, in between sir. this intro, and so now he yes, might sir. be the most pimping in the room. But, yes, sir. You know, I'm glad you recognize and I'll have to acknowledge him. You get blacker and blacker every episode. It's, it's immaculate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's got reverse to. vitiligo. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Too much sun. Yeah, <laughs> this nigga, wow. That's what the sauce is, you know? Stay Literally. outside a little bit, get a little bit Straight of out of carry. Yeah, That's what this yeah. nigga looks like right you know now. Mm. But um, yeah. Were we about to get into something? Uh, we was kind of, but quick story time. Not really. What did you have some? Go ahead. But uh, quick story time. You know, I was uh, I was perusing through the city this afternoon. Um, you know what I mean. I, I kind of had that feeling like, you know, I need to get out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I need to. I need to feel something. Where the city at? See that, but like, will, I, I can't be inside. You, you like you know. That's what AIDS commercials do for the medication. 
You know what I mean? It's like they, yeah. You, I know were suffering, you, you were suffering with your ailment, but you popped this pill, and now like the world is brighter. You yep. just going to dog parks yep. with no yep. dog, uh-huh. just trying to mack on. Just right about like, greenery and shit. Life is vibrant. Vi- your vision is literally clear. Uh-huh. And uh, yeah, that's what I felt. You know, I was perusing throughout the city. I decided to go by thrift store, Thrift Wiz. It's a new thrift store downtown Raleigh. Gotta what street check it is out. it on? I'm gonna have to check it out. <clears throat> yeah, two oh seven East Carver Street. Um, Raleigh, North Carolina. Y'all go check that out. I was in prison. Um, yeah, no. I can tell you, <laughs> yeah, why you surprised, okay, nigga? nigga. I, I, I feel like the Rain Man. Got some navigation on you. Huh? But um, I I copped this fly ass trench coat that um, which y'all obviously heard in the uh, pre show that Tony was hating on, but Dude, he wasn't hating really on. Really loved this jacket. But um, yeah. So uh, he didn't bring it as a prop for the show. Jesus Christ! It was a yeah, fact. This know, is a bit. Can you uh, describe him? Like, um, uh, if you've seen a ridiculous looking thing, well, one day, right? One day, we were outside perusing around the city, and we saw a crackhead who happened to shadow as a paralegal, and he was wearing a similar uniform to you, my nigga. Uh, it, it acts as a blanket <laughs> and as a, you know, marketing tool. I can solve you a couple. I just, I was like, I know Sherlock Holmes when I put this shit on. I can solve a couple mysteries. Yeah, yeah, Inspector Gadget, all that. You know, I, I have a few trinkets in this pocket. You know what I mean? Of course. <laughs> you got it. And let little, me describe little, it for the they people. They can't see your face. Yeah, they can't see you in frame. And you know me, what's even crazier about this, though? Is that, like, you're supposed to look more professional with it on, but you just happen to look more suspicious. I feel like you uh, might get more packed yeah, down. More suspicious just, and more like... What you, you mean, more suspicious? Like, you're probably going to get pulled over and harassed by the police a lot more. You just look... <laughs> yeah. You look like you shouldn't be wearing that jacket. Well, you shouldn't. It's 72 I, degrees. I feel like it sounds it's like... It's 72 degrees and he has 13,000 pockets. I feel like it sounds like because I'm black. Like it well, just, I, was just, I also wonder if you bought that with the things you're about to sell me in the jacket at the same time. That's like, what you I'm know saying. what I'm saying. Like, are you going to pull out... What are you going to pull out? A bunch of watches? Rolexes, like he's just what a you, crafty drug trafficker. Yeah, that's what it looks like. What? First of all, like you're you, you remember back you in the days when like it was just briefcases? <laughs> I, I just pulled out Niggas this fly ass jacket, jacket and the jackets. first thing y'all could do was hate. But that was for the people. I needed them to see this because somebody has to be on my. I, you see, I'm not tripping. I pulled out this fly ass jacket. You're not tripping. You know, this I, fly ass. Come on, nigga. You're not tripping. I can, and, by the way, I can zip out. I can zip out the fur. That's not a plus, especially yeah, in Lauren's yeah, eyes. Yeah, not a plus. Especially in Lauren's eyes. What does Lauren know? Lauren knows a <laughs> lot about He's wearing a white do rag. What the fuck does he know? Lauren knows a lot about He loves, yeah. He knows a yeah. lot more about you than Fur. Yeah. Yeah, I do. He's an island boy, nigga. Don't get it twisted. Island boy. There's no... You've never seen... What's the furriest animal in Jamaica? Don't worry Let's about that. Let's think about it. His uncle. Let's honestly think about a it. A lot of them. What's a furry First animal off. in Jamaica? First of all, the people are furry. That's just Jamaicans. Are Jamaicans even here? <laughs> Google mongoose. <laughs> They're not that furry, but <laughs> that's what I'm they saying. Are furry, but no, not furry. Nigga, a mongoose? Defend your land. That's the shit from Madagascar. You see what I'm saying? He knows <laughs> nothing about fur. Yeah, mongoose. And you know the most about fur. Nigga, I'm from North them. Carolina, the, the land of bears, all furry animals, all furry, furry creatures. Lauren, you chose the only animal in Jamaica with a Caesar. This nigga chose the snake. <laughs> what the fuck? I know, that's why. I, I just chose it because they, you know, they handle Yo, snakes. these niggas all have a and number one. I feel like one. sometimes you're snakish, so I just had to Yo, that's, that's how we do it. I see how you tried to. You was on the ropes. I was you about landed. to say, yeah. You was on the ropes and you landed. Shout out to mongooses, though they are uh, immune to venomous snakes. And shout out to Lauren's footwork. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> he shifted right out of that. But nah, man. If y'all in Raleigh for real though, uh, shout out Thrift Wiz. They got me right. You know what I mean. I do feel. I'm gonna check them out. I feel yeah. sophisticated. And for it's real. not. It's really not a bad coat. Mm-hmm. Nah, man. It's cool. But I, like I said, it was a piece yeah, that I just yeah. needed. Like I and don't. I saw know. the tag. I saw how much you pay for it. It's a good price. Cool. I, I don't put know it when there, I'm gonna need it. Price. I don't know when I'm gonna need it. For the price, you got a steal. But I have it though. You got a really good steal. I'm gonna get and that. I'm not gonna lie. It is very useful. Yeah, it's bro, the most. Yeah. It's probably the most useful garment you have, bro. You could stash weed. You could hide a katana, nigga. I <laughs> could hide. You could get you a. <laughs> I could <can> hide. <laughs> I could become some kill bill. I could become <laughs> literally, nigga. Yeah, yeah, nigga. <laughs> Unsheat that motherfucker, nigga. Literally, nigga. Jesus. God shit. knows what I could But I'm telling shit. you, you look suspicious. Yeah. You look suspicious. Yeah. And I think it's because you're very Negro on top. Yeah. If I was at like a... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What what type of individual you think would be wearing that and not look suspicious? Do you think he's suspicious because he's black? That's what you're saying? That, it doesn't and that's help. what I said a it couple minutes helped. ago. First of all, I didn't create the racism that exists in the police department. Uh, why? Are, but you said that. Like, yeah. what are you talking? Yeah. Why are you speaking for what the white man? No, I said that as a black man concerned about my black brother. Oh. He said yeah. you got you to gotta be 
concerned about. You see about how where niggas turn into most deaf when it's necessary. Uh -huh. But just earlier, All you know what I mean. Skews. Already, the yeah, nigga you, was. You, you know, I know you love skews, nigga. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Window shopping. Yeah, I'm glad you. Twenty eight dollars. You had to take so it. many yeah, skews. I mean, yeah, all these skews. Yeah, yeah, nigga, it was a very good skew. Uh -huh. But nah, man, shout out this jacket, man. It's, it is. Uh, all right, nigga, you're making me hot now. Come on, yeah, right, come on, take that shit off. Especially the. You fur. see this? This what I'm saying. These niggas know nothing about fashion. Talking about you making me hot. What pimps he say? Can you repeat it? Bro, I think I, I know can you visually know. see you starting Don't to sweat. Don't look at me. Say it. TV don't tell no temp. It never does, nigga. <laughs> TV don't tell no it temperature. It doesn't. It doesn't. But it doesn't. sadly, we're on YouTube. It get the <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it could be played sadly, on a... I played my, this shit on a you TV can skip a couple ads times. Here, nigga. A nigga, screen mirror don't count, nigga. <clears throat> Fuck out of here, man. Y'all niggas say yeah. this fool. You still ain't took the tag off. What, you yeah. not committed? <laughs> you scared you gonna take it back? Take the tag off. Nigga, I'm gonna take it off. <laughs> take it tag off, nigga. Take yeah. It off get the time. But uh, speaking of katanas, Lauren, can Yo. you go to the link in the notes? The second one under the title of The Last Black Samurai, right? So, you know, I was just perusing, uh, doing research and due diligence on a trusted website. I like Instagram. And, <laughs> and I just saw an immaculate story that I thought, like, why don't niggas talk about this more often? Like, this could have been a fact for the podcast episode during Black History Month. You say the second link or there's the second thing? The sec like, under the under the topic, it should be two links. Go to the one that's under the first Oh, I got you, I got you, I got you. That's so what I'm saying. You got to make it a little bit more pretty, nigga. That's what I'm saying. There's two links, but I just realized <laughs> that the first one might be better. Oh, shit. Sure. All right, so let me break it down, right? You said the first oh, one. What? Let me break it down, right? This ain't the first link. This is the second link. Uh, fuck it. it it'll be okay. This right, where you right. pull that fucking katana from, you fucking clever. No, nah, it just happened to happen. <laughs> it just happened to connect. Hey, man. But this, trying to come to the origin of the bit. This, <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> hey, 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 look at you. Look at that. I'm just, okay. But, but this yeah. is a legendary <laughs> black man right here because it's like uh -huh. he defeated odds that only monks could. You, it takes years of meditation and training to accomplish what this man did. Okay, so just for context, and I'm going to let MSNBC you know, tell a little bit of the story. There is a black man. I forgot it. Oh, his name is Apollo. That's what he would like to be called. I don't mm. know what his real name is. That's beautiful. But Cut. he would like to be called Apollo. All right, shout he, out to Apollo. He is the god of music, right? Yeah. Uh, no. Ah. The devil was the god of music. Lucifer. Uh, yeah, was the god Lucifer music. was the god oh, of music. Oh, he was the angel of music. Excuse me. I'm not Apollo is a rocket ship. But this just play it. I'm not, I'm not even gonna do it. Just play it. <sighs> my fault. Actually, pause it. That that pause just gave me all right. So <laughs> all right, <time. laughs> it gave me the time I needed to really think about How what I wanted to do. How old is he? Because his hairline says matter. otherwise. It doesn't no matter, way. bro. Okay. It doesn't. He's yeah, he timeless. Got a, he got a Stephen, Le Stephen A going on. Fuck now, time. I so did see. What we're about to witness is a black man in an 11 hour standoff against a police department, uh -huh. right? No way. This nigga, one man, one sword against a whole crew of niggas tear gassing them, shooting rubber pellets, bribing them. This is an immaculate story. Play this. Was he? I want to see him. His balls the and his sword. April 4th, 1997, Seattle, Washington. <laughs> Armed with a sword, a mentally ill man starts an 11 hour standoff with police. Dressed in a black jacket, camouflage pants, and dark shades, Tony Allison wields a samurai <laughs> sword at a busy intersection. Cornered, the man refuses to surrender his weapon without a fight. Allison says he's possessed by the devil and is ready to kill the demons who haunt him. Talked about this his mix. name being Apollo. Uh, he talked about uh, uh, Satan. He talked about his brothers in Russia and China, but he never really engaged the uh, negotiator. The spectacle draws a crowd of onlookers <laughs> and captures the attention of local news stations. They record Allison brandishing his sword with no sign of letting up. During the course of the standoff, police attempt several non-lethal strategies. Real quick, from pause real quick. Now, I didn't know the that. fact that they keep calling them mentally ill, there's, there's a case for that. But the thing is, in this situation, I think this man is defending himself. So I'm glad that they, they, they didn't really tell the true story. This is what happened. An off-duty cop. Uh-huh started hearing reports about a dude walking around the streets with camo pants on and a leather black jacket and everybody was like yo this nigga just look dangerous like he looked like he mean business right yeah so mm -hmm. he decides to track the nigga down find him harass him right he starts harassing the man so he unsheaths his katana right 
And now he's in like self defense mode. And he even described it. He was like, he gets into what I would like to describe as a defensive stance. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He lowered he his hips. Training, I was yeah. about to say. His center of gravity was yeah. on his back yeah. foot. Yeah. yeah. Firm grip on that motherfucker like a Dominican with a bat. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. And then he didn't say shit. He just proceeded to stand there, right? So the nigga called back up. This is for 11 hours. So mind you, the first couple of hours, they're trying to reason with the nigga. They're like, hey, what do you do first? This is... Like, we'll talk you, about that. Do you but, negotiate or do you just like you nigga, have, put it down? You have to negotiate. This is, he has a sword, and we don't know how him, good he is with it. Yeah. We how? don't know how good he is with it. So at first, they're like, all right, hey man, yeah, we'll give you $50. Just put the sword down. Just call this shit off, man. Like, you know, we all want to go home. I want to file this paperwork. He doesn't respond. He doesn't say shit. Because he knows it's a setup. It, also, because $50 is not enough. $50 like is though. not enough yeah. for the god of slashing. Nigga. Yeah, it's nah. like, you can't bribe me with shit that mere mortals worship. Yeah, and it's not going to do it. It's not going to work for me. Nothing, none of that shit moves me. Give, right? You got to give me like a hidden scroll And it's going to take something. about like 2000 to get out of jail. You so it's really a setup. That wouldn't yeah. even cover his bail. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you you got to so, give him ancient knowledge. Something that he doesn't, he wants to learn. Something like, he got to possess. Like, they should have brought in a Buddhist monk to really like, hey, nigga, let me levitate with you real quick. They should have brought in me you, you don't have ancient knowledge a true you? salesman no think about it only if you bring your jacket <laughs> no that's <laughs> gonna make him nervous that's the only way he's gonna listen that to might make you, him nervous you have to look just as sketchy as he does so he thinks no. that you're on the same wavelength no no yeah, and no. that's the right uniform <laughs> he's gonna feel it he, he's obviously Pause. on a whole different level of like thought yeah and thought pattern he's a philosopher because he's literally standing there and he even has the bounce of like that Loving like an arcade like like he, you're just waiting on attacking. You still selecting the kick? Like Eat no, like facts. like the fight started, but like you're in practice mode. Mm-hmm. So it's like, and you eating. So you but just it's watching also the like characters. He's, it's also like he's like, and it's like he's looking at everything else in slow mo, and he's mm-hmm. trying to figure out where he's gonna attack first. And like the equalizer, he has the, the his his confidence shows me that he truly believes he can block the bullets coming at him with his it's sword. Almost, he's reading the defense yeah. like Chris Paul with a pick and roll. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? After they try to bribe him with $50 and time goes by, they're like, all right, nigga, we got some Big Mac burgers for you. Like, this is not, I'm not making this up. They, they tried to bribe the nigga with Big Mac burgers. <laughs> he's unmoved. They don't even understand. The nigga probably been fasting for the last year. Yeah. Just Look to be good. able to be the source many years. And you it, have to go without. You have it's to a deny road. yourself. It's a lonely road. Yeah. And a Big Mac, that's <laughs> it's a hungry road. And you got to think about it like uh, 1997, a Big Mac was a big deal back then. It, yeah. it just dropped. Yeah. yeah. It was like Biggie, crack. It was like crack. Like you could, you Biggie could and Diddy, consume it with no consequences. Yeah. Biggie and Diddy just had dropped their little uh-huh. Uh, uh-huh. campaign with the uh, McDonald's. Yeah. I don't even want, I thought of Diddy jokes, but Diddy don't get jokes. Yeah, nah, man. Diddy don't get jokes. It gets time. But um, so yeah, they try to bribe him exactly. with the burger. That shit don't work. Now they're like, All right, we have to start using lethal force. But uh, the nigga, he just faced adversity like a true samurai would. They're shooting the nigga with rubber bullets. Now I don't know how many of you niggas have experience with rubber bullets, but they're not. They're not no joke. Like they still hurt like a motherfucker. Uh-huh. Like you remember that episode of Jackass where he got shot in yeah. like the like I don't know if it was his nuts. Yeah. But he was laid out for a minute. Yeah. Bro, they're shooting him with rubber bullets. He's just standing there. He's just like he's taking it, but he's not flinching. He's not like wincing or nothing. He's just getting hit. They tear gas the nigga. He's breathing it in like oxygen. Like the nigga, it's an eleven hour standoff. But there's nothing they could do with bro. Maybe this is what do they show is, that? This is what Tai Chi I don't know does. If they, keep playing it. I don't know if they show it in here. They showed it in the other one. Potentially, that's why I put both of them in there. I what? just couldn't remember which one I watched, so I put both. What in. martial art does he train under? Did you know? Um, I don't even under. I couldn't even articulate that shit. It's obviously you know something in the dark arts, but you know it's probably a yeah. mixture of different arts. More than likely, it's a cornucopia of combat styles. Uh, it might be a forgotten art though, so that's why we. Oh, it's that no, 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 it's, no, it's not even. Sumerian? It's not even a fighting style. It's the art of patience. Mm. That's all this is. It's, it's for all the patients. It's beautiful. This is life we're watching. Yeah. Waiting in the water. This can teach you something if you watch it. Paint you know. Proper you, bullets <laughs> to at the pepper right spray and mace. But nothing deters him. After 11 hours, the police try one more approach. Oh, they could probably they use wait a fire to hose it. to spray Allison with cold water, hoping that he will lose his grip on the sword. <laughs> when that doesn't work, they turn the water pressure up, full blast. Allison loses his balance and falls to the ground. Still holding his sword. They couldn't get that sword out of his hand. Police officers a use a ladder to subdue him, sword. then pry the sword from his hand. And pause it real quick. After the intense. 
Oh, damn, this nigga left it. He's obviously leaving on a stretcher for all the uh, Spotify and Apple Podcast listeners, which we love. Shout out to y'all. If you haven't already, check us out on Spotify. Review. But overall, they, I think they took the wrong approach. Yeah. He Because, like, as not, but I'm saying, like, this go doomed. back to when he was getting hosed. You can tell he thought he was in a movie. Like, they're not helping. Yeah, no. Him get out of this look like film. Yeah, look at they're that making him like yeah. he's like, oh, I would not be defeated. Like you I can get tell. Exactly what you're saying. You know yeah. what I mean? They're like, proving his point. They're pro- mm-hmm. He thought that he was the last great warrior, and he and he proceeded it's, to prove that point. Keep for I, oh my god! Bro, if, if, nigga, y'all not, listen, if y'all not watching this on YouTube, it took one, two, three, four, five, five niggas with a hose with a ladder. So they hosed him to get him on the ground, and then they pinned him on the ground with, with, with an actual ladder. And they had to pry the sword I out think of they, his I hands. think they pinned his hand to the ground low key or some shit. You know they were just trying to like squish him enough to where it's like they could kind of grab mm-hmm. it. Jesus Christ. But they still had the water going a little bit, so he's discombobulated. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He's very discombobulated. Yeah, the nigga nah. doesn't know. He's having a fever dream right now. They, he essentially just got waterboarded to death. But <laughs> the real kicker, because for all intents and purposes, as of right now, he should be a hero. But sadly, before this incident, he broke, or he was just released from a mental institution uh, because uh, he had charges of aggravated assault with attempt to grape. So, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, kind of take it back a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nah. Oh, pause. And this was the funniest shit about this shit, right? Asian, nigga. This was the funniest shit about this shit, right? So, this is an 11-hour standoff, so all the journalists, they're asking the right questions. They're like, how good with the sword is he actually? That's my thing I was, was going to ask just now, nigga. Yeah, they, yeah. They, so they, were, they had the same question, right? They switched to a, just a random Asian dude in the crowd and asked him. And he was like, yeah, he's pretty good with the sword. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that little screen flash of the Asian dude. That's what that was? That was an Asian ninja correspondent <laughs> saying this nigga's lethal with that katana. No way. I'm about to run it. Seattle, Washington. An explosive standoff begins when a man brandishes a samurai sword on a downtown sidewalk. A friend of the man confirms authorities' worst fears. Uh, yes, he knows how to use the sword. <laughs> <laughs> confirmed authorities' worst fears. Instead of friend of the man, that a nigga friend was not a man. friend. He, he knows how to a use a sword. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, that's that was a random nigga yeah. who, <laughs> yeah. who probably even laughed about it. Like, yo, they asking me if right. this nigga know how to use a sword. And he, like, he had a, he had a, he was telling his homies the joke. Like, yeah, nigga. like yo, I just told niggas he know how to use a sword. <laughs> yeah. But even if like he was being honest, then that means he's better at using a sword. sword. Yep. So where are these niggas getting taught? <laughs> like, Yo, in karate? Seattle, Washington, somewhere, nigga. Nah, nigga. Sword lessons are cheaper in than Seattle. Anything. Swordsman. It's, he's gonna pop up. It's probably an institute. Seattle Swordsman. We need Uh-oh. to get a sponsor for these niggas. Hmm. Might hmm, to get a maybe. free katana blade and just prop this shit up right here. Yo. Yeah, he, he's the one that's gonna pop up when we type that. The Samurai Swordsman. Mm-hmm. That's the story. That's Fuck. the same story. Mm-hmm. But it's no like. Mm. But you know. If it wasn't for all the, the smut that he did in his past, this nigga would be say, a fucking hero. I mean, well, I mean, yeah, I was about to say, uh, oh, what's this? What is this right here? Seattle the Knights. The Lonin League. Yeah, Lonin. This, this Lonin. Is a, yeah. So this is an academy for swordsmen. Uh, looks that way. Okay. All right. Oh. You know, it's crazy. You remember how at Marsh Creek, when we used to go hoop, LARPing. there would be those niggas doing the fencing lessons at the bottom they of the stairs? They would be practicing the LARPing. Oh, yeah. LARPing. You know what LARPing? Yeah. So LARPing Let's is... Let's get a fresh Google <clears throat> on that, please. No, no. He, he can do it. I know what it is. So too, LARPing is basically role-playing uh, of, me- of the medieval times. Mm. So like knights, uh, all of that, like it's just swords and dragons and dungeons and <laughs> shit. But, but they get together yeah. to LARP as a group. So you as have your group. teams, you have your your, 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 teams. your castles, your whatever you call them, like... The houses, you know what I'm saying? Literally, the and facilities. they have sigils, and they have sigils, yeah. they have everything, and then yeah. you go outside. And I'm not gonna lie to you, they having a great time. They're having, they're having a, a fucking good, ball. How much fun did you time. have? I didn't, but I would do it. I think. Y'all would like to LARP together? If, I mean, just for the experience, if we like did, to fucking, if, if we it'll did, be hilarious. If like, we did, I, I would be better at LARPing. Yeah. Hmm. How do you feel about that, Lauren? He's a better LARPer than you. I'm talking to you too. 
Oh no, you definitely gonna watch me in law. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do man shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, like, you got me like, throw, like put a ball in a hoop. You got me like, like, like he's like put a ball in a hoop. Yeah. Wait, let's have this conversation. LARPing is this more again. really is more uh manlier than fucking basketball because you're actually you're you're re like you're LARPing. It's a battle. It's a battle. Of it's the, a battle of wits. It's a battle of wits. It's and not a battle, a battle of, of wits. honor. It's battle a battle of, of instead of putting a fucking ball in a hoop. Yep, it's that's a battle just, of you and making sure your 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 hand curls yeah, perfectly. Yeah. Well, I, you know, because see, what you're battling in that most times, even though there's other people on the court, you're battling an inanimate object. You know. That's what I'm saying. But he doesn't understand. That's why he's uncoordinated. He grew up pretending, lopping, comic conning, and that shit didn't allow him to uh, develop athletic ability. <laughs> I don't know if that's true because I, you know, I have athletic ability and I. I and you was a larper? No, 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 no. But I did watch anime. That's not larping. No, but you're talking about comics and shit like that. Like that could oh, stop a nigga bro. from being like dangerous. You see, Tony, <laughs> I'm not like, saying it's gonna stop nigga, you. But you see, there was a Israel, but there's a point in time. Israel, there was a point Adesanya, in time, nigga, one of the best UFC niggas is like, come on. There was yeah. a point in time I where I told him like, yeah, you know, I watch anime, Hunter Hunter, yeah, like all yeah, oh, that yeah, shit yeah. is cool. He was like, man, anime, yeah, I like basketball, yeah, that's his whole. I've known the nigga for forever. But you know, niggas in general, niggas in general act like you can't do both. I'm saying like I was I play sports. When that. when there's a Zion shout to Mayor LaFleur, who we didn't shout I out. I thought it was Mayor. I've always said Mayor. Mayor, Mayor it might be Mayor. Mayor LaFleur. Fuck it. Keep going. Shout out to Mayor LaFleur. Um she's a Raleigh designer in uh Raleigh. She designed some pants for Zion, which was like an anime set. You know what I mean? It was like a one piece mm -hmm. uh blouse. I don't know why Zion got that shit. It was it was kind of corny, but uh, that's what he did. That's what he wanted, and Mayor yeah. Flair killed that shit. But uh, he's a corny guy, but you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, they do have this loaning shit, these classes, and uh, maybe one day we could LARP. How much are classes? I don't know. Let's find out. Anything below? First of all, we have to get our own sword. Pay dues. I don't know. Let's find out. Probably yes. Yes. Monthly Whoa. dues are forty eight dollars. That's very low. Oh yeah, y'all could afford that. Family recurring dudes at 72. You guys could actually couple up together and just split the fee. It'd be Quarterly cheaper that recurring way. recurring dudes. Hmm. This is not bad, you know? It's not bad, man. It's, it's not, not bad. If you want to so learn how to be a swordsman in Seattle, you can go to Lonin. But go what's really Lonin sad Academy. about this is that people are looking for a, a, a monthly subscription to provide no. them with friends. No, it's not and sad. like minded individuals. You <laughs> no. get what I'm saying? Like, no. They're this is already the like minded individuals. They're already friends. No. This is they where you go know. to find these people. They're already friends. They just don't Yo, know each other. Tone. Did, so, what do you think about like, um, uh, like Comic Con? You fuck with Comic Con? Um, most of when I was a child, yeah, but you know, you wouldn't go, I don't be thinking you, about it now. If, I would go. Comic Con, I would go. Th and first of all, uh, about I think it was was a year ago, maybe two years ago. One of those things was here. Oh yeah, they had mm. one here. I didn't go, but yeah, I, I didn't go. I think Cherry. I, I felt like Cherry I went. Or somebody but went, but they had one like a big it's one. Probably Shane. At the no, I wasn't it, <laughs> at the at the convention crazy. center. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That one. Yeah, because I saw niggas dressed up crazy. Like, and yeah. that shit would be cool. You would go to one of these. I would definitely go to a comic con. That's what I'm saying. But I'm not gonna lark with you niggas. <laughs> You can wear tights on your own time. But see, you're taking it too serious because you feel like niggas is really trying to LARP. Like, I would do it for the fuck of it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Lord, don't, but don't do that. See, don't do that. If what you I mean like something, like, just no. stand on it. Okay, no, it's no, not like, nigga, like I, 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 I want to LARP. If I like LARP, I would have been like, you know, ready. You hear yeah. the, the uh, he doesn't want to commit. No, all right, yeah, have yeah, you ever yeah. seen you the movie? I mean? You ever seen the movie Role Models? With your boy from... Role Models, Role Models. Yes. Yes, they were doing that in there and that shit was hilarious. And I was like... This shit is crazy. Like, I've never thought to just go outside and do this. Like, yeah. niggas are doing this. And I'm not saying that it looked fun. I'm saying that that would yes, be a funny. Are. No, I'm saying that would be a funny experience. How do you like, spell, like this. You how do like you spell never, funny? Shut up. That's not the same thing. How do you There's, spell funny? That's not the same thing. Yes, it is. Just I'm say not gonna, I'm not going to go down your path because you want me to. That's not the same thing. Why? If you win. Yeah. yeah. You need fun for some need. Yeah. No, that's no, all no, I'm no, saying. No, no. Uh-huh. No. Yeah. What? When you laughing, you having fun. Mm -hmm. That's not. That's it's in not, the name. But that's not. Some people. You can go to something for fun. A roller coaster is fun, but it's not comedy. It's not hilarious. It's just fun. That's what people do for roller coasters: an experience, exhilaration, fun. Yeah, I'm saying that no larping, going to. I'm saying that going to a <laughs> larping event and and that's experiencing what, the whole event. Yeah. Looking at the people there, mm. playing with them, getting to understand these motherfuckers. Yeah. Like that whole thing would be a funny scenario, and, and, and fun, that would be hilarious. And, and I would probably have a great time. And then once you do it. You'll you'll get deeper into it because it's like oh shit like I'm thinking I could just hit this motherfucker but 
this nigga is like, it's a he's going to get things. He's going to go there and get it. And what's really fucked up about it, what's really fucked up about it is, they're not even going to want you because you got to think, Probably right? Probably not. You going in there just to laugh at him. I'm not going to laugh at him. I'm I'm, I'm going to laugh experience. at him. Like, you think this shit is funny. I'm, to experience. I'm going to experience, but I'm going to laugh at the... I mean, maybe I'll laugh at it probably, but I'm not going to laugh yeah. at them. I'm going for the experience. Exactly. And the other part of it is, I am kind of curious. How nice are these niggas? Can yeah. I just jump in this motherfucker? That's what and I mean. Like, like if how I, nice put it are like these niggas, He's like a rabbit to start skateboarding. Put it, put it like this, right? How nice are these niggas, because bro? Because Lauren know. could have just a crazy ability with a sword. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Like that's that crazy. might be his thing. <laughs> yeah, that's that crazy. might be his thing. Like you're trying to push <laughs> him. <laughs> like why are you? That, you're right. Like, and like you get what I'm saying? I can't hold him. No, but you were though. No, you gotta apologize. I apologize from holding you back from the wizard that Ayo, you are. Nobles, that's the craziest <laughs> flip in the world. This nigga was on my side a second ago. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, this nigga, that's what I'm saying. No, no, and I love it. Like we're here now. No, not only not only was he on my side, he was the one who led me to that side. He was the one who brought it up, and I was like, you know what? That's right. I would kind of look. Lauren could crazy. honestly because Lauren's center of gravity. It's not like it's people low. are going to be trying to cut his legs because first of all, you're defenseless. You know, you're trying to cut a nigga's legs. Like Lauren he could, could he could literally be a king's best friend. Yeah, uh, a king's right hand man. No, the well, kings fight. I know what you're trying to say. Kings but, fight, but like they have knights for a reason. I know what you're trying to say. Like the general in his but, army. No, no, no. I know what you're trying to say, but the real, the more realistic thing is I could be the king. That's I'm not going. That's thing. what I mean. Yeah. So you know, like I understand what you're trying know. to say. I think but, you're better with a sword yeah. than your leadership. And if anything, mm. uh-huh. Lauren might be better with a lightsaber than just a regular katana. <laughs> yeah. 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 He might be better fighting nah. in space. Yeah. I probably, if I was in space, I'd be better with a blaster. I shoot a nigga. Yeah, a blaster. A blaster. <laughs> yeah. I'd do that. I, I used to really fuck with Star Wars. I'd be better with that. To a certain point, I, I was never that we guy. Not a Star yeah, Wars. We guy. could tell. <laughs> Star Wars wasn't hard. I know. I watched. I, I played the games. No, no. The, on the PSP. Oh, I, I like the games, but you know I played the mean? movies. Nah. I played. I, I watched the movies. The movies are cool. I'm not you going. See, I'm not I, going the completely. movies was corny as shit. I just know enough. I know. I like know the characters' names. I just don't know the backstories of anybody. You I know really what like certain scenes out of the movies, like just like Darth Vader. I mean, Anakin becoming Darth Vader. Yeah. Like that little. I can watch that. Yeah. You yeah. You feel me? Because that's hard and shit. I watch all the movies, like, but it's weird. It's a weird thing that I'm. I've turned into an investment in the culture as far as like when there's a new movie I'll yeah. watch it because I like kind of sci-fi movies and shit yeah, so it's yeah. like I'll watch that but I don't I'm not invested in Star Wars you're an in the closet law group. No, I'm not. I'm you ain't in the closet LARPing. <laughs> LARPing yeah. is not the same thing as Star Like, I'm not a Star Wars guy either. But like, you can LARP to Star Wars. Yeah. No, I'm not. You a, can LARP to anything. But I'm not a Star Wars guy. I just said that to you. You can LARP to Star Wars? But you can LARP like, to you anything. Can, you can use something else I'm into. You can LARP to Star that. Wars? Like nah, but like, Star Wars is LARPable. <laughs> what I'm character would you even play? Who, him or yeah, me? I don't know the characters enough. I know the names of most of them. I know. Like, the main ones. I, I never understood <clears throat> Samuel L.'s character. He was just... I don't know that nigga's name either. that's the problem. Like... I was just like, I don't like. He was a role. I don't like unassuming no. black guys in roles. I know his name actually. I don't like that. Like, what there's do you nothing do? unassuming about Samuel L. Jackson again. But, but he kind of just, just like, fits in any Anytime he's on screen, he's assuming the most. But it, that Samuel L. That was probably not the best example. Yeah. But overall, it's like, you know, it's just like, what does this nigga do? You, yeah, you don't like random sprinkles of color. That make it make sense, kind of thing. Yeah. Like I was watching Halo uh, on Paramount Halo. Plus. Shout out to Xbox Live Game Pass. I got uh they be having like rewards. Nigga, so, that's a LARPing thing, right? That's pretty much laser tag, right? Uh what, what? is Halo? Halo was LARPable. That's yeah. like that's like laser Halo tag. isn't LARPable. Yes, it's it not is. swords, it's no swords. There's a, but there's, you can you can get blasters like nerves. Like Lauren, nigga. Oh, blaster from Lauren. Pause. Yeah, it's but crazy. Halo. Calm down. Yeah, first of all, if y'all never you use the word blaster. Calm down. Yeah, because we're talking Star Wars and I was trying to be funny. How about this? Can I call both of y'all game? We good? So yeah, <laughs> Only we can call you a lesbian. <laughs> look, I'm trying to tell y'all this. Look, the Halo TV show is fucking terrible. Don't watch oh. it. But uh, in the movie, in the show, mm-hmm. the opening scene, it was like, it was whatever. Like, you know, it was uh, some villagers. They was doing village things. They get attacked by aliens. Uh, and then out of nowhere, the Halo nigga comes. But then it's like. It's just one of them. It's four of them and two are women. Hmm. And now I can tell. Are they? Lesbians? I can tell they're women by just the, the, the shape obvious of the, figure. The shape Halo of the got a but I'm thinking, like, I'm like, when when would a woman be on the battlefield? Something like, <laughs> just something <laughs> like. That. No, no, I didn't hear you say that. Like, when would a woman be on the battlefield? Like, oh, you just okay. just, just shoot like, like just shit like that. That was very lesbian of you, Lauren. <laughs> what are you talking about? Dude? You know what I mean? Like, like yeah. <laughs> you mean? say you misogynistic. Just, just say. It. <laughs> but, <laughs> 
<laughs> that's not where I was going, just but that's good. It. But I was just thinking like just shit like that, like it. But then I'm like, it's a but little, then I snap out of it because it's like it don't have to make. It's a fucking TV show. It don't have to make sense. But and it's a little different when everybody's in a robot suit. The battlefield is kind of even now. That's the thing. We all got guns in and mechanics. But it's not even, though, because of what you're looking at and what he's talking about. It's not really like a robotic suit, but it is. Uh, There's no advancements. But then. Enhancements, I mean. But it's like when you watch it, it's just like you could tell they just tried to find two women. I know what you mean. You know what I mean? It's also like uh, I want to, you know. I'd say I'd want to empower women in the action role, right? In the action role, I want to see. But I want it to make it. I want it to make sense. sense, and I also want it to still be good. There's too many times I watch them in the roles, and niggas is not moving fast enough. It's like you want to know enough to make you want to know like this one. <laughs> like if you're trying to take a nigga head off, nigga, I need to see you try and take a nigga head the off. The last mm-hmm. good woman role that I can remember off the top of my head, you so remember that role or just role in general? Just uh, role with a woman action in in an action movie. Okay, y'all remember that movie with Tom Cruise and that white woman? Is I think it's called like end of time. Uh, uh yeah, that's just crazy. Um, um, I know what you're talking about. Damn, that's just crazy. That uh, was a good movie. A great fucking movie. I, uh, I love but, that shit. But I watched it, had, it like four times. But it had a particular white woman, which I find the, fine. The, the uh the the angel of Verdun. Yeah, that bitch. Mm, clever. That was her name. Mm. He's okay. a white man. <laughs> yeah, that's what he was that supposed was to do. I, that's, that's not the name of the movie, but that's the name. That's <laughs> yeah. the name of. Her, I remember her name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they said that shit a million times. Yeah, okay. yeah. Lauren she, studies his white women. She has some structure. This is why he remembers her. But oh, fat ass. Oh, well, let's get well, no, a no, 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 not like that. She just, no, 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 she's no, no, cool. No, she's cool. White like man. action wise, it was like. But can I still look at this bitch? Yeah, we should probably pull a picture up. But I think it's called in Edge of Tomorrow. Edge of Tomorrow. Edge of Tomorrow. Edge of Tomorrow. But that was the last role that. I saw a woman in the action movie, 2014, where I was like, yo, like, this is a good movie. Like, I might watch this it just shit makes again. Sense. And the reason why it was good, because one, <laughs> she she has the uh, the the acting chops to be a badass to where it's like, oh, shit, like, you know, this this flimsy nigga Tom Cruise just walking in. It's just this hard bitch doing yoga, you know what I mean? Kind of toned up, like, hair all, you know, saying sweaty and shit, like white know. bitches and shit. <laughs> she used Old Spice. Nah, but, she um, actually did that role well though, Loki. She did. But that she was did. the last, like, well, and and before that, like, one of the yeah. most major ones we talked about earlier, fucking Kill Bill. They went crazy on that. In Kill Bill, hmm. which makes sense. Makes sense. Well, it does, but it doesn't. But that's the beauty of Kill Bill. That is, it's kind of is played up. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, man, I don't or know. Or Kung Fu Panda, Tigress. And I don't think that counts. Nah, nah that she counts. was she was whooping Pooh's ass, nigga. I don't think that and counts. And he was the what, the dragon master. What they call in that it's movie? It's a cartoon, nigga. That doesn't count. Hey, we said women roles fighting. You want to know? I would count Avatar. What's that black girl that plays the Avatar? Um, oh, uh, Jan- not about. Janelle Monae. Um, no. Oh my uh, god. Uh, fuck. Why Hold on. We're black. Let us do this. Zoe Saldana. Yes. Zoe, Zoe Saldana. I knew it started yeah. with a Z. You ain't no shit. Yeah, I swear What's to you? God. That's her. You're right. Zoe Saldana. Zoe Saldana. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it was her. Yeah, it was her. Yeah, it was her. It was her. I know my black women long. Yeah, she fine as shit too. But she has she has a look about her. He she only is. remembers the attractive ones. It's not a lot of ugly ones. Hollywood knows me. But you be jumping back and forth. I like that about speed. you. <laughs> you like the fact that he's a grifter? <laughs> nah, yeah. man. But I hate it. It's uh, <laughs> but it's not a lot of like, like good what like, I don't know. I fuck with Underworld, Child Underworld. Yeah, Underworld. That's good. another Underworld good one. Pretty good one. Underworld How you good. feel about Wonder Woman? Uh, the first movie was good. The rest of them stupid. Wonder Woman is tricky. The first one was. Awesome. The first one was very first good. One was good. I, yo, this was the good Woman too. King. This was good. I watched, Woman King was kind of good. I watched with a bitch. Oh, I watched this shit with a bitch, right? Mm. Which was like the best experience because it was like obviously, do if y'all don't know, the Woman King is a story, allegedly about a true story. A woman tribe that are warriors sounds crazy, I know, but Africa, 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 Africa. Uh-huh. You know, but I was watching it with this girl, and you know, I'm of course making my misogynistic jokes or whatever. That's whatever, you know. Like, what the fuck is this? Like, you tell me this bitch the king, I and it wasn't that good of a movie. It was all right. The action but was pretty. I was though. watching it like sh- I can't see her doing it. What you mean you can't see her doing it? This the one um, with the main one? Um, damn, why are all black yeah, women mis- mistaking my uh? What's her name? Viola Davis. Yeah, I couldn't see Viola Davis really doing like the action. It was just like, 
Man, it wasn't believable. She about 50, 60 years old, I man. thought they did the action pretty, pretty straight in that. It wasn't bad. In like, comparison to what I... In a, the context of our conversation. Okay, I agree. You know what I'm saying? Like... It was... But it's on the low end of, like, what we're talking about, though. It's saying. not like... Yeah. You know what I mean? But I, I don't know. Uh, for all the women watching this, I know you agree. Lovely ladies. <laughs> 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 and uh, I need you to tell me why... Um, this is the case. Right after you like and subscribe. But um <laughs> Bitch. What, what was the <laughs> oh, God. That was him. That was him. And he loved black women. Uh, but you can say bitch, he's a lesbian. Oh, and, yo. I'm sorry. Was you about to uh yeah, I was about to say uh okay. black woman, head of T'Challa's army and Black Panther. She was whooping ass. Whoa. I didn't. She was in uh, Woman King. I have the, the woman in the door, uh, door on Milaj, I think She was. She called. was in Woman King. I, I haven't seen. Okay. She was. I haven't. She's a badass. I haven't. Mm -hmm. She. She's a badass. Yeah. Say yeah. that one more time. She's yeah. a badass nigga with that yeah, bald he's, head. He said it weird. He said it weird. Yeah. Because yeah. I was thinking about her actual ass. <laughs> no, <Nah>, nigga. <laughs> but she's a bad. You was trying ass. to believe it, nigga. Nigga, she's a badass. She but she's cool. She whipped Tom Cruise ass. Um, think about it. You said, she, black girl? you said she would. Yeah. She would whip Tom Cruise's oh, okay. ass. Oh, yeah, yeah. In the movie? Yeah. I mean. Yeah. As long as he's not the lead. You know, but he, that's the problem. You I haven't pit, watched. You can't pit him against each other. Nigga, I haven't Why watched not? the Tom Cruise it's movie not fair. in years. Because there's so many niggas I can think of that would not lose ever. Just and based Tom on Cruise how this. Tom Cruise is one of them? Yeah. No, I was thinking about Jason Bourne. Well, what that got to do with. Yo. That's <laughs> crazy. I'm taking Jason. I'm taking. Hmm. I'm taking Tom Cruise over Jason Bourne. Hell no. I'm taking Tom Cruise over Jason Bourne. I'm talking about fisticuffs, hand to hand. No guns, no weapons. Yeah. Tom Cruise. And if that's Let me case, tell you why. I'm taking Hugh Jackman. From which? Well, Wolverine. Wolverine claws. What? Hand to hand. You can't choose a fucking superhero. <laughs> you hand to hand, hand, nigga. You just fucked up the whole fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I win, nigga. Nah, nigga. First of all, uh, Hugh Jackman has never. He's never played a spy. <laughs> I don't think so. Yo, that's he wasn't how good, James Bond. He could have been James. That's Bond how before, good right? superhero money is. That is. You don't have to touch any other anything option. else. That's nope. how time consuming it is as well. Yeah, that, like you sign up for like for a the, lot of movies. Yeah, you yeah. sign up for he, the. You know how many X Men movies he did, and then he said he didn't want to do any more, and here he is again. Like, yep. Tom Holland is gonna be Spider Man forever. Yeah, and you, it's, and you know, it's one of those things where like as soon as he signed that paper. He realized he sold his soul. And not in like that way, yeah. but it's like, because he even talked about it like he never wanted to be in a, you know, a confining role, like a, a Spider Man, a superhero mm -hmm. role, because you mm -hmm. can't get out of it. That's mm -hmm. hard. It's, it's you never live it down. I've uh, seen. Uh, people do it, but it's tough. People do it. Uh, Superman. Which one? Henry Campbell? Henry Campbell. Is he the 50 Shades of Grey nigga? Nah, that's, that's, that's another white nigga, but. Um, of course, you got to memorize me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, but it is a different <laughs> white dude. But uh, uh, Henry Campbell, that nigga, uh, that spy movie he has with um, um, fucking, oh shit, spy What's movie. Venom? Henry Campbell. Who's Venom? Uh, Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Yo, he, I'd be crazy on Family Feud. Nigga. He has a yeah. I was about to that say was we, we we might need to put a team together. Yeah, we might need to. <laughs> we might need some, 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 right? some good minds in here. <laughs> Uh, yes. Shane's on the about team. About the commie movie. Shane's on the so, team. Yo, you, hear that? you came at the perfect time. We're talking about movies, but that was the last role that I can think of. Like I watched a a superhero nigga outside of his role. Right, 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 right. Because it doesn't happen often. Which movie? Wait. Uh, Man from Uncle. Man from hey Uncle. Shane, okay. I want to get your perspective on this real quick. Uh, why can't women in movies fight? Yeah, why does it look stupid? Because my whole like, thing what, what was, example? put it like this, right? Because I was thinking about like the last good action movie that I saw with a woman in it, mm -hmm. and we we just brought up Edge of Tomorrow. You remember that movie, Edge of Tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. With yeah, uh, Tom, Tom Cruise. Cruise and that white girl. Mm -hmm. That was the last good action movie where I was like, damn, I could really like this. This bitch is really killing shit. Oh yeah, and it she didn't was take a me, little jacked, a little bit. Yeah. But it didn't yeah. like seeing her didn't take me out of like. The movie, yeah, like like the Woman King with Viola oh, Davis. Mm -hmm. Okay, when I'm watching her beat up a six five African, yeah, from the Bambada tribe, like bitch, yeah. really, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, how does that happen? Yeah, oh, what planet? Yeah. 
But it's I know it's a movie, but it's yeah. still it, like is it hard to make it seem real? I don't know cuz I guess like when you think about it in real terms like it, maybe there's there's yeah, half of it that's girl tech boss tech. type shit, you know, like uh-huh. where it's like over the past couple of years, there's been this Hollywood has been pushing this kind of like it's an agenda. When they saw that they could make money from the female audience, they're like, "Oh, mm. we gotta make women star in oh, everything." Oh shit! <laughs> so it's literally just business, and a then business, trying to make that yeah, business really yeah, applicable yeah. for our audience, okay. and trying to appeal to a different demographic. Yeah, trying to get the women I fuck audience. With Charlie Angels. Yeah, the I one like that with uh, what's that uh, white girl? I know you know her, Cameron uh, Diaz. Hathaway. Cameron Diaz. Yeah, I fuck with Drew Barrymore. Uh, Drew Barrymore. The Asian one. What was her? I Lucy love Lou. the Asian Lucy one. Lucy Lou. She Lucy was in uh, Kill Bill. That's a good name. Yeah. Lucy Lou. Lucy yeah. Lou. You think that's her real name, or that's her, like I moved to American name? Yeah, that's I a corn name. That. That's okay. a stage name. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I do think, like, and then that's why I guess like they always get a pass for it with the superhero stuff because it's like, oh well, then everybody has super strength. So yeah, even this skinny bitch will be. Yeah. And it's just <laughs> so it's possible for it to happen. And she has yeah. magic powers. Yeah. yeah. But it, with straight up action, that's where it gets questionable because it's like. People have talked about that shit. This waif, this skinny wafer girl punching this big bouncer guy. It's, it's like, stupid. Okay, right. Like like the one movie <laughs> um, his like shit. Columbia with um Co- Columbiana. I Columbiana. That one I, is good. Bro. I don't I, when you I said watched you liked it, it. When I got older, right, perspective changed. I started to really hate it. Because like as a movie, it's not really like a good shot movie. You know what I mean? It's kind of all over the place, especially when it comes to the action scenes. I'm an action nigga. Is my it on favorite, purpose? Yeah, I am my too. Favorite, I'm an action nigga too. Have y'all seen The Raid? Nah. The nice, Raid nah. is like, nigga. Oh. The Raid? I got another one that I'm going to share with you. The Raid? The Raid. And I heard, I, I don't, they had uh, plans on dropping a third one. I don't know if that's in the... Uh, 2022. This bitch did it well. Oh. She did it pretty well. A white woman? She did it pretty well. In comparison to like what we're talking about, the old guard... She was actually fairly like action compatible. Okay. No, nah, uh, Lawrence just a trying movie to get, called a movie called The Old Guard on Netflix. Oh, He's just God. trying to get accepted oh, back to his white community. He's been talking to niggas too long. It's black. It was it disowned him. I mean, you black don't history have to, is a long. Now he's sticking up all of them. Hey, look, man. You know, I got it right from my. People I'm gonna be honest. Gonna I haven't seen the trailer for this. Check I don't know if out. I could trust it. Yeah, check it out. Check it out. It's on Netflix. I'm gonna check it out. But I would just say overall to put a pin in this. The reason it usually doesn't feel believable is because women's or in general, there are women who could whip some dudes' asses, for sure. But overall, their best warfare isn't physical, it's psychological. That's why they're better for thrillers and scary movies and shit. And mm-hmm. for making men fall in love. Lauren, can you go to that shit yeah. I just sent you? I got you. Now, we got to put this on the screen because this this is a really interesting case study. <laughs> yeah. It's like... Uh, this is going to take a minute. This is literally the face of a man in love. Yeah. This is what this does to you. So I don't recommend I, it. I'm going to break it. So basically, right, this woman. So give me a moment. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, to play it. Oh, yeah. I'll break yeah, it down. Yeah. Oh, my bad, nigga. I was I'm high as shit. But this woman, this white woman, <laughs> betrayed her black king. So basically, right, this nigga, um, he has locks. So, you know, he probably wears like, you know, he probably has a cop around his neck and shit. You no, know, very holistic brother. You're the only one foolish but enough for them. Overall, he comes home, and I'm guessing he's taking care of this bitch. Like, he kind of just met her off the side of the street, saw she had kids, uh, and wanted to do what men usually do, provide. Fuck her. But provide, too. To keep fucking her. Provide penis, provide money, provide clothing, provide health, life, He wanted and to liberty. subscribe to that pussy. Yeah. So he was like, I'll pay your rent. Uh-huh. Uh, I'll pick your son up from basketball camp. Uh-huh. I'll play the park. And you juggle my balls. And yeah. that was the deal. And only my balls. Because that's another interesting caveat. That's another clause in the contract. Yeah. You jiggle these nuts and these nuts only. That's that's important. That's important. Mm-hmm. And he comes home. I don't know if he saw his woman with another man. Yeah. Or know. if he just, or if he got news another day. And so now he's coming back. But um, it really doesn't matter. Because yeah. overall, right. People are framing this like a man is having a mental breakdown. And we're going to play the evidence for you. We're going to play the footage, the audio. This is not a mental breakdown. This is a man in love. This is a man in love. uh, But uh, 
being in love with the wrong person or a person who doesn't love you back and staying there is a form of a mental breakdown. That shit can you kill you. You gotta listen. He's Am the I, most sane person no, in the room. You know I'm what I'm saying? Honest, uh, you haven't watched the video, but I'm on the side of this nigga. He was normal. But as I kept watching, I'm like, oh shit, like these are like three minute videos spliced together, meaning like this is probably a 20 minute thing. <clears throat> it's an 11 hour standoff. Literally. So I'm watching it, I'm thinking of it in that sense. I'm like, Oh shit! Like nah, this nigga might be. He's hurt. Yeah, he's I was, hurt. I sourced it a little bit, Lauren. Play the first clip, and I, yeah. then I think we're gonna play the third clip. Yeah, right, because you. you know there's a little fat in there. I tried to try trim to it trim out. it. Yeah, I got you. So first and then third. Yeah, wait, hold on, let me count. But play the first one for sure. I got you. Ah oh, shit, it's muted. To the You're running back. Whoa, he sound crazy already. Loco show. Welcome to my life, my hellhole where I continuously love women and do for them but outside of my means, and I get the short end of the stick. Welcome to my life, my hellhole. Welcome. Welcome to where niggas pay bills and take care of women and stay faithful and get cheated on. Motherfucker skipped out the door like, that's why I fucked me a nigga out. Now, I, I wanted to let it go a little bit more, but this is why I think he was being a little bit manic. No, right? Go ahead, go ahead. The nigga... <sighs> It's like, it's almost like he feels entitled. That's the that's the main problem with niggas. Like, what do you mean you you take care of her? Like, like it's almost like this isn't a grown man. Like, oh, I do this for her. I do this. I do this. I deserve this. You know what I mean? Like, nigga, if you've lived enough life, you know that's not even how, like, the equation works all the time. The fact that, especially, like, we're talking about a woman. This is a relationship we're talking about, <clears throat> which is something you're supposed to learn, like, at least within your 20s, maybe high school. But this nigga, just play. Hold I was going to say, there is a sense on, of rebuttal, give and take in a relationship. Go ahead. And but, I was about to say, to rebuttal to that, when you, when you feel like you do the very best that you can to treat a person right, and they just blatantly treat you wrong, there's obviously going to be some upset feelings about that. Because, uh -huh. like, nigga, I'm holding this shit down. Literally. Like, I can understand you cheating on me if I was, like, you know, if I was an ancient nigga, Cheeto dust on the couch and shit. Or, like, not even, it's not even that simple, because I don't want to break it down to just simple math like that. But overall, he just feels like he was done wrong, because in his mind, he's doing everything right. Because he's doing everything he's supposed to do to properly take care of a woman he loves. Yeah, I think. And she treated him. Like shit. I think he has autism. I think he has autism. Play it. <clears throat> All right. You went straight for the tism. Yeah, tism. Yeah. Oh, weekend, but I'm in here paying your bills. This is Haley Ray, everybody. Outside. On Facebook, outside, and I'm gonna leak all your content for free. I think she's yeah, okay. Yeah, I like that. Oh. I'm in it too, so I, I'm not exposed. I, I can expose myself. Don't pay for no more content, y'all. Mm -hmm. That shit for the free now. I'm leaking everything. Pause real quick. Real so, quick. Wait, let me so, this is the same man. Let me talk. Same man. So this is a sane man. This he's a sane man. This is a sane so, man. A more so this is what this is what I get. I'm taking care of people when I barely got nothing. First of all, nigga, you're stupid. You're dumb. Congratulations. Take a deep breath. Right? Because you're giving when you have nothing to give. Mm -hmm. You're dumb. Mm -hmm. That's not true. That's not. That's it's fine. He pays two rents. You could be dumb. It's fine. He pays two rents. But then he goes another far, disrespecting the pimping, talking about leaking shit. You know what I mean? Leaking. That's a little foul. Uh, Was it only fans? That's bad. No. I, they never. Uh, and, they never address it directly. But just OF. based off the these, think about think about the idea. This is a pimp. Like think about the idea. This is a pimp who's losing his hoe, and he's literally about to shoot himself. In her, you Where's get what I mean. By the gun is put it posting all that shit on Facebook for free. Mm -hmm. You yeah, get what I, like that's you not have, a gun. She can always make more. Content. But he's pulling the trigger. He is pulling the trigger, but she pulled the trigger by sucking on another nigga's gun. You're, but but you're messing with a girl that you're fucking on OnlyFans. Yeah, like first of all, it's not exclusive. After that point. If you're that's both, not true. That's not true. Yeah, you, you can, can establish boundaries. You can establish like, a boundary you with your girl. Like if, if yeah, if you and your girl decide to do that and go on OnlyFans, like you can definitely establish boundaries. There's healthy relationships with niggas who fuck on OnlyFans and they get their content together. Like that's done. Healthy. Yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah that's, healthy that be, is a strong word. Look, Adam and Leo are perfect. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not talking about them. I'm sure. I feel confident in saying there has to be. 
a few it's healthy a relationships. It's you know what I'm saying? There's people who are into shit. Niggas who fucking do shit. You like, want to you know, know it's probably the same amount of people who actually go to church for God. It's probably the same amount of people, which is like, I mean, it could be a lot. It could be 50, 50, 50, nobody. 50, 50, 50, 50, you know what I'm saying? 50, 50. It could be, you know, who fucking knows? But one in every two. Yeah, if you want, look, let's see. I think the nigga crazy. He sound a little off. He's upset. <laughs> yeah, this, 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 this what I go through. I pay bills. I pay, I pay the rest my dream. All right, now can you skip to the second to the last one? Throw my shit, go ahead. I'm getting it all on camera. Oh, throw my shit. Don't touch yep, keep She's throwing, throwing my shit. Keep throwing my shit. I'm getting it all on camera. Breaking this shit. This is why you ain't shit. You don't need no scale. You don't sell shit. You don't get money. You sell drugs, right? Yeah. You sell drugs, Do I? right? Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> <Boss. laughs> That's what I'm oh, saying. Shit. Like he's good. Okay. He sells drugs. Allegedly. I don't know. He's don't... paying two rents. He's fine. I don't know if y'all heard. I, and I know what drug that is. <laughs> I, know what, That's that I, I know what drug that is. That is nigga. that woo -hoo, nigga. <laughs> hey, <laughs> woo. See, <laughs> he's good financially. Do, do you see that floor? That floor hasn't been swept. And that was another thing when I was watching this Forever. video. I was a little bit disgusted. Yeah, that, that's another thing I realized. That like, crib was looking this is, crazy. This is where this is your habitat too, nigga. Yeah, no, <laughs> your habitat is. He up. got kicked out. This is him returning back, and I don't know how long he's been so, kicked out the house, but this is, he got kicked out, still paying the rent. This is this is a brother. This happened the next day. He came back the next day. This floor was Probably. dirty for years, for yeah. months. But you gotta think, he not Damn. home. He leaving and trapping and shit. He only there when he fucking on film. Tony. This bitch is not paying the rent. She works from home. She's not cleaning up. She's not cleaning up her own shit. She has a kid. She's doing exactly what she's she sneaking niggas in. She's doing exactly what she was supposed to be doing, which, which is? is she was a renegade, Tony. No, she wasn't. Yes, no, she was. Think about it. Think about it. Think How about was she a renegade? Think about it, pimp. She didn't have no pimp. This Wait, is standing this is right how, there. This, yeah, this, this is, this is how she's she, standing right there paying her rent. This is how this she got. Like she. She, this is her, this is her so pimp or this is her man. Like, this is what, happened. what are we talking about? When right the now? video it's first, the thing for them. when the video first started, that's what I'm trying to find out. He literally said, and I'm verbatim. Well, not verbatim, but you know, kind of, you know, whatever. Uh, I, I house this bitch. I take care of her kids. I do this. I do that. You could come to the conclusion that the bitch was homeless before yeah. him. So, with that being said, she was a renegade trying to find her way in a world. Without her pee. So she's lost. And she and with most renegades, when they get to somewhere that is nice, they don't have to like, you know what I mean, sleep. Scramble as much. They don't have to sleep in a ball because yeah. they don't got to worry about people stealing their shit. No they longer in survival mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start getting a little complacent on all levels. <clears throat> once, she, once you get to but, a certain level. But that's the problem. That's why the nigga's stupid. You got to fuck with bitches that know how to live, not survive. Uh -huh. We talk about it all the time. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So your bitches know how to live? My bitches know how to live. What are some of these jobs these bitches have? Shit, some of them. You got any? Uh, some of them deal with dental kids. Dental hygienists deal with kids. I don't got none of them. That sound very uh, lucrative. I mean. Deal I, with kids in what capacity? I don't need a bitch that got money. I got my own money. No, okay. I got money. Well, I'm money. And that's exactly what he thought. You see the problem is? that, And you just said that you shouldn't well, do that. First of all. First of do all, do you hear this nigga? I do. Am I tripping or did I just catch some hypocrisy? A little bit of hypocrisy. What? Just a little bit, just a tad bit. Can you show me so I can fix it? Because you went from saying you need a bitch that's about her shit and about a business that you know is self sufficient oh. to a bitch oh, that I don't need okay. a job. You're, you're, you're pulling the strings here, brother. No strings to be <laughs> you're pulling the strings here, brother. But oh, these strings are getting saying, drug I, I, was the floor. Saying, I was just saying, like, it, you gotta fuck with better bitches. You higher quality bitches that aren't in survival mode, they know how to live, uh -huh. but also uh -huh. don't have jobs. No, it, look, I, I don't know where that came from. They can have a job. They can not have a job, but... What do you mean by know how to live? Like, <laughs> like when... They like, know how to do different types of knots. For instance, she right. She a fire in the woods. I mean, yeah, bitch, a camp counselor. <laughs> <laughs> she did work with fire kids. The bitch, hey. but, um, bitch got some badges. She could sling some cookies. But, uh... And uh, he said he come at 6.13. That's what yeah. the series say. But how long we been recording long? Uh, just about an hour and four minutes. Four right. minutes but but look, this is this is what I was saying. Like, there's been times where I come in, 
like in the studio y'all record. I'm like, what's good? What's good, nigga? I'm like, hey, nigga, trying to live, not survive. Right, right. You right, know what yeah. I mean by that? I do. By I do. trying to live, not I survive. There's a, hus- there's a hustle so- that comes behind. That. Nigga, it's- fuck the hustle. There's a smell that comes with. It. It's like, ah, oh, nigga, you've been surviving. But it's, it, but exactly, <laughs> it's all over I'm, this world. Nigga, man. I'm trying to live. Nigga. Oh, yeah. But it's, it's a mindset. It's a mindset. I know what he's saying. It's a, it's a, it's a. Fuck where you at. You know it's a, we, it's you a know level we, of thought. Yeah, yeah. You nigga. know where we at. You know where we going. You know what's going on right here. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, be prepared for that because this life will change. Last bitch, she didn't know how to live. Uh, I had to teach her how to live, which was the problem. How and, can and, I? And, I don't have the time to teach you how to live. And bitch. how to live does mean making sacrifices at times. And you can't. <laughs> and you can't teach somebody developmental shit you can as bro. like when you're trying to develop yourself <laughs> oh god what have you sacrificed long you lot, getting at the thick ass black and milds mm-hmm. uh, that was the first one you surrendered that to god that was the first one back then i, I was i wanted to have more melodies and more hooks i couldn't keep fucking Ooh, up my lungs yeah more sacrifices i sacrificed that uh, more uh, sacrifices locks nah that had nothing to do with it <laughs> but mm. that's cool you that still got your locks though right? that wasn't in pursuit of I, 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 yeah i do actually my mom still, still got, got my locks. yeah i still got them in a bag i guess it's, sad, it's spiritual i guess some yeah. black shit, mm-hmm. but uh, <laughs> nah, man, it's uh, it's crazy. But I mean, on to some good news. We started this off with a lot of degeneracy this uh, episode. No, no, you know, no. I was showing off my fly ass Pico niggas was hating. I, we gotta, that we gotta clean this up. Degenerate thing that we we gotta about. clean this up. Can we go to the messages, right? So, like I was saying, I didn't just go to the to, uh, thrift whiz, excuse me, mm-hmm. the thrift store in Raleigh, two hundred seven East Cabaret Street. If you want to check it out. I think he said 206 earlier. Yeah, then no, it's, it's definitely a different. Oh, well, event. I'm sorry. Well, it's 207. Mm. And I I didn't say 206. Y'all niggas are it's wrong. It's in the tape. We'll find it. And I can't wait to watch it again. But I also went to the poorhouse. Shout out the poorhouse. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you was living, not surviving, nigga. Hey, I was living, not surviving. Yeah, I'm telling yeah, you. The poor I'm trying not to. But I, I was going in the poorhouse just to look at some records. You know what I mean? Uh, Just see some cool shit. You know, you never know what you're going to see. We'll Getting spiked. Up there. But I go in there. And um, uh, it should be in the notes, the videos, but oh yeah, it is, nigga. Actually. It's school of rock in that shit. So shout out the poorhouse. It's a uh, it's a record store and a, a venue. And so I walk in and I'm like, is there music playing? I didn't see anybody when I walk in. And and mind you, it's one two o'clock. Mm. They're not supposed to be any like band live right now. Like who's the fuck is gonna be here? So, and it's a bunch of old people. So I'm looking at the vinyls and shit. Inevitably, I'm like, I, ha- I have to go see what's going on because I'm hearing a little girl's voice. And I'm like, it can't be a little girl on the mic. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? would not treat you about so that. So I go down there and um You're nasty, bro. Yeah, man. This is what He's I, worse. What you say? It didn't even land. What'd you say? What'd you say? <laughs> nasty work over there. It's not that. Oh, nasty that, work. It, it, what? Nothing. Go ahead. What? Nasty it work. didn't land. Okay. But look, man. Th- Look at this talent. Hear this shit. (laughs) It's a couple more videos if you want to just keep looping them. Yeah, play another Uh, one. Play another one. I need more samples. But all of these, of course, they're covers. But for those of you, again, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, I love you so much. If you haven't already listened to it on there, but these are like eight to maybe eleven year olds. I'm a little bit too far from like knowing age references for like for children. Look at this. You see yeah, what I'm saying? You can hear it a little. You can hear it like nah. bad times. They're not good yet. What? That's the amazing thing about kids. It, it was an eight year old on the drums. Kids can be bro. really bad, and we'll just ah, oh, you know that's funny. Like, Johnny, you did it. Like, yeah, it like, I don't think that was that bad. It was. It was a it little was abrasive. Pretty fucking good. It, it, that was a little abrasive for me. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's pretty bad. I, I'm gonna be honest. It, it wasn't gentle. It was. Movies. It was camera audio, which is always that's, that's what I'm saying. That's thing. why. Yeah. But she sounded a little off beat. Ah, she was on key. But it was rock though. You got it. You don't know. She was on key. It's rock music. It's a different key. level. <laughs> also, this would you jam to while y'all niggas LARPing? No, nah, I'm just yeah. saying. This you LARP know, I knew you was going to I, I, you know, I support the young kids' dreams. That's what I bro, support the kids' dreams. See, you're woo. trying to beat them down, and we're trying to say that they're they're woo. on the way. And another thing, no, another you guys thing. are the mother. I'm the father. Tough another love. thing, another thing that's out I'm the box. I'm not gonna clap until you're good. Another thing that's out the box. What? They were all. I'm not Indians. gonna clap until you're good. Oh, they were really. 
Oh, you're right. I can kind of see that. There, there was nothing but Indian parents there. So I'm like, oh, shit. Like Times have changed. They're Times. the only ones who can afford school rock lessons. Not afford, but it's like, it's not. I would never think of an Indian family I going like, like I'm going to put my son or my child or my daughter in some like some singing shit. Yeah. But even the kids in the School of Rock movie, they weren't good enough on their own to be a band. They needed 33 year old Jack Black. There was a 33 year old, shout out to, um, I'm going to call him Max and this white bitch named April. That wasn't her name, but I, she looks like an April. Mm -hmm. But they were both white. And uh, you even saw in the um, thing, it was the back to school band. Uh -huh. So it's the thing they do, uh, you know, annually. But uh, yeah, I was just asking him because I was confused. I was like, is this one of your, you know, little kids? And uh, he was like, nah, man, you see, I'm, you know, with shits. You know what I mean? I'm teaching them how to do their thingy thing. Yeah, I was like, oh, shit, like congratulations. Rock counselor. Yeah. I was like, oh, shit. Mm, that is a uh, odd thing to walk into, but, you know, shout out to them. Nah, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, but you, that's why his kids aren't going to be uh, uh, athletic, though. Why? Because that's their genetics. They're going to gravitate towards the arts. Strings. What you mean? I, so a nigga can't... <laughs> grace. A nigga can't go out and hear they some go, music. They're going to have an affinity for strings and grace, and that's all right. What you mean? Yeah. Basketball somebody, is supposed to be an art as well, and maybe because your mindset just wasn't strong enough to understand that, you, didn't, you couldn't take it as far as, well. as you were supposed well, to. If basketball is supposed to be an art, you do stick figures. No, all I'm saying is that <laughs> you you talking about said, art in this way allows me to uh, know that you didn't take the art form of basketball seriously the arts. enough. So I take few, it so you serious. Know, no, 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 I, I take it so clearly serious. You did at least it, so. I color inside the lines when I play. I no, you don't. Yes, about. I definitely nah, do. Not at all. No, you don't. Lawrence Burke looks a little sloppy. Nah, I know what you're talking about. It's a little messy. It's a little messy. Yeah, I'm a little prepubescent. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, nigga. <laughs> Hey, you do know Lauren's an issue, man. Don't worry. Don't, don't even know about pastel colors. Yeah. All your paintings, nigga. All your paintings. You want to talk about basketball and art? I'll be Bob Ross. What y'all niggas know about art? Not as much as you, thespian, nigga. Thespian? Well, you just tried to reel it all off like you know something. Who? Huh? huh? Nah, because you tried to make basketball and art in a Basketball, analogy, which was, if you want to play that game. No, you when you it. watch Kyrie, it it's a art. beautiful it's fucking... It's an art. When you watch Kyrie, it's a beautiful it's a skill and an thing art. to behold. You don't have to tell me. Y'all need to watch more Kyrie. No, you need to watch no, more Kyrie. No, y'all need to watch more Kyrie. You need to watch yeah. more Kyrie. You don't even well, understand what makes him great. Well, you just need to wear Dude, more pastel colors, nigga. The footwork. Apparently. Oh, uh, you don't like... I'm not peacocking enough for you, Lauren. I don't know. You just said like, <laughs> you just told me. You the one who just told me all what about pastels. You do nigga. have. You do have. You the one who told me black. all about pastels. You said I'm nigga, not matching my undertones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, nigga. That's, I don't know. That's what you said. That's a good friend, Lauren. You want me to look my <laughs> best. nigga? That's what you said. I don't, Lord, I don't want know. want me to look my to... absolute best, and I appreciate you, brother. Man, if you're trying to be bright out here, be bright. Very dainty of you, Lauren. Yeah, for real. Me? You talking about me or him? I'm Nigga, think he dapper. I'm not the pastel guy. The pastel guy. What the fuck is pastel? I know it's the clothing brand. That's tone. He's Clothing brand, but it's color, yeah. pastel colors. It's like matte, like how matte. That's a, yeah, okay. yeah, that's uh, perfect. They're a little brighter, but he but more. the way the way that the actual uh, I don't want to call it a stick, but like guess the stick. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> it's a dark matte color. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why that comparison is not too far. I d I, the only reason I know anything about colors, go, my brother, that's a pastel color palette. Okay. Oh, so that's what he's he's on. Just so you know. The only thing I know about colors is like. Because of Los, Los Santos, nigga, mm -hmm. GTA 5. I wonder how many of these colors Lauren's going to see when I punch them in the face. <laughs> <laughs> you got to hit me first, nigga. I think realistically, it would be... <laughs> you got to hit me first. Silver wolf gray yeah, or maybe in the yellow. left hand corner. You know, the light bulb might well, go off on his what head. What color yeah. did you so see like, when I hit you in the face? Maybe this nigga is more athletic than me. Well, no. What color did you see? Red. Ah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You I was like, red? oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I did, reddish. Yeah. I saw blood red. It did look like a blood shot in your eye. Uh, it yeah. did look like a bloodshot. Nah, you were, it was more like it was more like Trevor was, on GTA yeah, Five. It did, it did look a little I red. Activated rage mode, it did nigga. look a little red. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you yeah. shook a little bit and Very growled. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> you growled and shook a little bit. You trying to make it cute, but I'll scratch you, nigga. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you'll have to after yeah. I whoop your ass. Nigga. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, all right, all right, nigga. It's gonna be pastel <laughs> blood. Bring up basketball. On the pavement, bring up basketball. He's winning. Nah, I'm not bringing this shit up. Bring up basketball. He's winning. I can't wait. To see what you would color his blood is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might be Jim, Jim, blue, Jim, nigga, because it's cold. Lawrence so sweet, it's uh, probably pastel. Oh yeah, yeah, my god, man. I'm the coldest one in here, nigga. Exactly. Jesus Christ, man, <laughs> he's gonna be knocked out cold. But all these is, goddamn. Uh, nah, he's not here yet. Here? Okay. But uh, 
Oh wow! Actually, we want to do while. Are you gonna do it after? You want to do while otherwise before, or you want to do it? That excellent question is a very good fucking question. We didn't have a lot of while otherwise. Do you? All right. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna figure that out after we close this up. We'll be right back. But it'll be like we never left. Cause boom. Yep. Like I said, perfectly seamless. It's almost like we was never here, Magic. and we just teleported a, a new nigga in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> boom. <laughs> That's what we call movie magic. We're going to let this nigga introduce himself, this good brother. You know what I'm saying? Riley Legend. I I didn't want to, I didn't know what to call you, but I just was coining you as like the Virgil Riley, just because you do so many different things. Mm. Yeah. You, you wear a lot I mean? of bags. I appreciate you it. You do a lot of different appreciate things, but we're going to let you say your name, your piece, man. Damn. Well, I got to definitely like, I appreciate that. The Virgil reference. That's crazy. I ain't never heard that before. Uh, so, I mean, shoot, man. My name is Jalen. Go by Jay Ward. Some people call me Ward. Uh, mm -hmm. Skateboard Ward. Some, yeah. I mean, shoot, man. On the rap stuff, they call me Little Texaco. Like, mm -hmm. I just be, I'm all over the place. But, I mean, at the same time, you call me whatever, man. Uh, based in Raleigh. Born and raised, man. And uh, I'm just somebody here who is a creative of many creatives in the city who's really just trying to figure it out. Yeah. You know? Um, but I love the Virgil reference just because, like, it's definitely inspired by a lot of people such as, like, that caliber. Yeah. And just trying to, like, bring that to the city. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's a, it's a couple people doing that, like, yeah. just bringing that energy. You know what I mean? Just not being all one thing. For just sure. trying to be a... Uh, just trying to be good at life. Literally. Yeah. Trying to figure life out. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And we see you doing that very well, so we actually want to put you to the test. All right, yeah. that's a bet. There's a segment at the end of our show, and we call it Wild or Wise because, you know, our listeners, our viewers, they like to send in questions, comments, concerns. Okay. See what's going on. Okay. Yeah, right. You want to do it now or later? Um, well, it's too late. I already intro it. All right, bet. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> so, but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With all your life experience, you're going to have some two cents to add on to this. Lauren, can we pull up the first one, please? Oh, shit. Don't judge our fans. Okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I get that you might not understand where his head is at, but trust me, this probably makes sense. Do you want to read this lengthy motherfucking, Justin? This might be a little bit too much for the beginning. Let's get him, <laughs> yeah, let's, yeah. Let's, let's, let's get him okay. warmed up. Okay. All right. Let's You're get right. him warmed up. You're right. We got, I said we was going to put him to the test. Let's, we, we, How you feel about white boys? I'm gonna be honest. I was not like. I was about to let's say. wait to the end. Like, okay. You can't. You can't. <laughs> you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't just think. Look, you, you know, know what I mean? Drove an hour here. <laughs> Got to take the bitch out first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wine and done. Wrong. Damn, can you oh, buy the nigga shit. a drink? Like, yeah. Yeah. Nah, yeah. nah. He said he's not but, putting um, out. Nah, man. Because uh, I had saw you right mm -hmm. months ago. Okay. Just saw you loosely on some skateboard shit. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, for the, you know, the Raleigh Skate Park. For sure. And so I was like, mm, like okay, just nigga in the city doing cool shit. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you see mm -hmm. niggas doing cool yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, it wasn't <laughs> like a big thing. I was like, okay, cool, shit. And then I saw you again doing some more, you know, I mean, like some art stuff, some painting stuff. Yeah, hell yeah. But before we get to any of that, like, I kind of just want to know, like, like, what was your life like for you to be like this person right now? Like, you and that's not a harder question than white boy fun. <laughs> but it's just what's your life gotta, like we gotta get the people we gotta get the people <laughs> used to him we gotta get the people used to him it's gonna happen yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, we're yeah. gonna get ignorant tell us your soon. whole life right now yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but as far as like <laughs> Riley like was you yeah. like what type of kid was you like was you the type of nigga you know the bully niggas like were you a bully I, I know I kind of was I was you know I was I a little did, menace on the playground, just a little bit. He was I, defensive. Okay. Yeah. I, I, which is cool. And, <laughs> I mean, about you as well, I could kind of, like, seeing you're a very genuine guy, you might yeah. have been a bully in the past. Nah, possibly. nah. Actually, I'm a victim. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hurt people hurt people. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he is crazy. This big booty bitch called me peanut head in fifth grade. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and made me the funniest man alive. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. I uh, swear to God. Yo, you know what's crazy, man? Like... Man, as a kid, dog, just thinking like when I was, I was one of those kids where I, that bully, the bully shit, excuse mm -hmm. me, bully shit, like, nah. Yeah, never. Yeah. I was always the kid, like, quiet, but always observing, like, seeing yeah. what's going on yeah. and, like, really just trying to, like, see your surroundings before you move. Exactly. You feel me? So, okay. 
but I was always a computer kid too. So I'm mm. like, I'm seeing my surroundings and then I'm like on a computer heavily, like doing like, doing like what type, not to cut you off, but yeah. doing what type of computer stuff? Like, cause you know, we was, we grew yeah, up during yeah, the internet yeah. phase. For sure. yeah. So For it's sure. a lot of different things you could be watching. hundred percent. Could have been on Wikipedia or Pop Tropica. Uh, yeah, literally. hundred percent. So if it wasn't like YouTube's like, dude, I was watching like, the the uh, like sneaker like releases mm -hmm. and and like people talking about like before it really became a thing yeah um you know like kind of resorting to like the Nike Talk websites and everything I wasn't a Nike on Nike Talk like heavily but like if it reverted over to like some phones dropping or like some Jordans that was dropping and stuff there would be like some slight videos mm -hmm. on YouTube yeah. when mm -hmm. I was a kid like I still remember man like stuff I couldn't obtain like like the eggplant phones when I was mm -hmm. a kid when they dropped. Might have been oh six, but like I knew I couldn't get them, I couldn't afford them. But yeah. like I was amazed at looking at YouTube, just looking at them. Yeah, literally, right. So, uh, yo, like knowing that we didn't have the resources as a kid in the city, and me like wanting to be this person who wants these type of things, bro. I stayed on the computer, mm -hmm. just looking at stuff, clothing, shoes, uh, music, like. Mm -hmm. Bro, life, and that's life, that's the craziest bro. thing, right? Because it's if it, you're talking about escapism, yeah, you know, in a sense, we've all you know experienced it, especially if you you know didn't have much for sure growing up. Exactly. So you're on YouTube, you're on the internet, trying to get that sense of uh self that you want. You yeah. on some other websites too, nigga. We can mention them all. It's fair. It's, some, it's, some, fair. it's, it's a couple fair. other important ones. We excluded it's one a couple very other important ones. Why are you trying to drag it in like that's yeah, the biggest like, life? Like that's what he was. Because like, we, we trying to be real Okay, here. that's a, that's a part of life. We're trying to keep it real. That's a part. You was 13, yeah, yeah, sure. That's a part for of it. Sure, 13 years old. Sure, sure. Escapism. It's all escapism. I'm, I'm trying to get <laughs> something I can't have. That's all it is. All it is. But that is crazy. But for the most part, just fly shit. Yeah, <laughs> and that's and that's crazy. Like I used to be on uh like the Nike website making my my shoes that I would never ever see. Come on, man. but it, it's just the it's just the it's the, the thought experience. of it. And yeah. especially as a kid, bro, like you know you couldn't get it in the city. So yeah. just knowing that there's other stuff going on out here, like dude, like I would come straight off of school. Like school was cool. I love. I ain't gonna lie. I was rocking with school. I enjoyed my school time. School was fun. I was rocking with it. Um, mm -hmm. I would. You hear that, kids? Stay in school and, you know, and like... You can be this fly. That's why you're going to make the big bucks. You talking about staying in school. Yo, school is fun, nigga. Man, mm -hmm. these kids know, man, what I'm about, man. But, like, at the end of the day, I definitely, <laughs> like... Like, if the computer saved me, like, for real, yeah. for real. Because, I mean, I'm kind of... I'm not speaking for anybody else, but, like, the ones that wasn't compute... Like, you could just tell who's different. You, bro, you can... It, it. I know exactly you what get, you mean. You get what I'm saying? Like... If I wasn't inside playing the game, yes. I would have been a different nigga. Nigga, yeah. I would, would be have more been athletic. A, I, yeah, for different reasons, though. For reasons Jump that you shouldn't be athletic shit, nigga, for, nigga. Yeah. But sure. that's, yeah. that's exactly you what you're what talking about. Yeah, like for sure. Wrestling, you know what I mean? Just everything that makes a kid happy. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> but later in life, you started to get into, like, the skate. Yeah. What did that happen around this time too, or was like yeah, yeah, that kind of happened? What year was this? Because I believe it was oh six, maybe oh seven. Yeah. Black people started skateboarding heavily. Yeah, that's when it I, was around I, that era. I was about to say I had an way? experience. Yes, yes. So when I was in elementary school, I had this dude, uh, this friend of mine. His name was Luke. Mm -hmm. He very he influenced me heavily into the skate scene. Okay, I bought some DGs. You know what I mean? All yeah, that shit. Yeah, yeah. But it was DCs. It's, it's DCs. DCs yeah, yeah, my yeah, fault. DC. Ooh. But um. Yeah, I only ever knew about, like, Nigel Houston, like, just the regular niggas, though. Okay. But I didn't get too deep into it. You, so, like, bro, like, same era, mm -hmm. uh, playing a lot of that Tony Hawk Pro Skater, yeah. Yeah. all of yeah. those, bro, like, yeah. heavily, like. Rob Deerdick was on TV. Bro. So, RP mm -hmm. the video games, like, yo, like, me and my brother, we was locked in, but, like, that Tony Hawk, especially, yeah. like, Pro Skater Three. Two, two and three, underground, two. but the, the underground, underground version. Was fine. I yeah. had the cheat yeah. codes. Yeah. I was like underground one and two. Yes, yeah, on Crazy. it, like beating. I was the, skating with Wolverine and all them niggas. Karimo, <laughs> yeah, Karimo, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the cheat codes, getting all yeah. the characters and everything on it all, mm -hmm. bro. So like, my favorite uh, skaters though was at the time was like Kareem Campbell, Terry Kennedy, uh, Stevie Williams, like all the black skaters for real. Yeah. So I was like, these sound black, <laughs> bro. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yo, but like. I really, like, I really appreciated seeing that. And then I was like, yo, you know what? Like, the game is cool, but low-key, I, 
I want to get a boy. I kind of, I kind of rock with it. For yeah, real. yeah. And then P Pharrell at the same time was pu- promoting it in the music. Pharrell, yeah. And it, at, at that point, I'm like, it took over. Right, it's, 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 it's it's sold. Over. Yeah, Gotta go sold. for it. Yeah. Gotta go for it. So yeah, that's kind of like how the breakthrough with the skating and everything kind of came about. I did take a break from it. Like I started at 13, 14, mm. took a break because I wanted to hoop. All yeah, that type of yeah, it yeah. happens, so it yeah. happens. But then we came back yeah. a few years ago and everything. So we're here. Exactly. Ah, damn. But the thing with skateboarding that I can never really get too into it because it's in order to be good, you have to accept the fact that you're gonna break some shit. And I was so, already breaking bones just doing regular shit. I, was yeah. like, I don't think I need to add <laughs> yeah. into my mother's More burden. harm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like they're gonna call CBS on this. I'll be in the hospital too much. For sure. Did yeah. you ever snap your shit up for real? That's the reason why I stopped. Cause like I had uh bro, me and my me and my homies was doing like these DIYs in the back of our yards, like building these ramps, oh, yeah, building do it. all types of stuff. But no regulations. No and, FDA. And I was the only one where it was like, yo, yo, I'm about to just like hop this ramp real quick. And like I fell on fell on my wrist wrong. And I was just like, yo, it's I quit, yo. Yeah. Like I'm ah. good. I'm good. I'm about to hoop. I'm yeah. good. I'm good. You so. were the one who tried to trick first every time. Every time, bro. They yeah. every love time. you. We had a homie like that too. He broke his wrist too. Yeah, it's <laughs> always a wrist. I can't take it away. My my homies though, yeah. the ones from back in the neighborhood, like the skating stuff. Like we really, we was really the only ones in the neighborhood skating, yo, which is crazy because mm-hmm. everybody else was, you know, trapping or doing yep. something else, yeah. hooping yeah. and stuff. But like we was really kids skating, and I was recording all of it, bro. And, so and it's always a group documents. of like, how many of y'all was it? Like three or four, Pammy? It was five. 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 Okay. five. That's like, five. Those those are That's so, like yeah. the max number that. Yeah. Yeah. Fine to see. It's like, a nice yeah. crew. And was the rest of the neighborhood like scolding you niggas? It's a bunch of niggas on roller skates, like <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yo, you know what's crazy? Like, yo, my neighborhood is very family oriented. So Worthdale, mm-hmm. man, like everybody, it's like everybody know each other. So we kind of really they was they let us do our thing. Yeah. But like like y'all weird, but the cool yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, and like yeah. They let me, like I said, I had a I had a camcorder recording all of this, bro. So like they they knew we were just like kids, just like just, trying shit out, just trying stuff out, yeah. bro. And trying we to figure 13, it out, like 13, yeah. 14, just like on some creative skating type vibes, yeah, bro. yeah. That's fire. That's crazy. Can't make it up, bro. Who's on that so you went like from that? so you, in terms of passions, you went from shoes being a real big thing in your life. Yeah. To Thanks. using shoes to break your bones and skate <laughs> yeah. shit. Yeah. What was the next progression? Because like we said at the beginning, you're uh-huh. in a bunch of different shit. And just based off how your childhood sounds, yeah. it kind of makes perfect sense. I was about to say. Crazy. Like when did you when did you draw your first character? Ooh. Bro, truth be told, bro, that was later uh-huh. in the in the years for well, when y'all say real. draw a character, explain that. What does he do drawing characters? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, apologies. When I called <laughs> the man the Virgil Riley, he does a lot of different things. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? He 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 touches a skateboard, but he's also a an artist, yeah. a creative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um and I wouldn't know like what to call it. Can you actually pull up his IG? Cause you got a couple pictures, a couple of uh some work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not I like definitely pictures, but you have some work up there. I definitely got some got some shit up there. Very interesting, like like direction. Okay. Very interesting. What's the I appreciate IG? That. Uh J Ward. Yeah, J dot J Ward, 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 yeah. underscore underscore. But as far as like, you said you didn't start drawing them until later in life. Yeah. Like, where did that inspiration come from? Did it come from like, just overall, you know, black pride? <laughs> uh, okay. Or so just, let's make sure we we on the same accord as far as the character. So you mean just like as far as like me as a person and creating? I, these? I'm saying characters as like your first character. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna get to this though. I do okay. want to get to this, but like, like when did you just kind of open that part of your mind though? The cre- okay, I get, I get yeah. exactly. Okay, boom. So like, yo, later in the years, bro. Cause like, yeah. after <laughs> after after high school, like, so high school, like, bro, 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 bro. Man, I cannot make this stuff. A lot up, of life man. happened. A lot of life happened. Yeah. And like, you gotta adjust to the. You gotta roll with you the gotta punches. Roll with the punches for real. And, and, and my high school was kind of set up where it's like, if you was on this other type of vibe, like. You ain't really gonna like fit in in a sense. So, mm. like, you gotta adjust. So, I mean, granted, like, I mean, I never wanted to like fit in, but like, I definitely like the hooping. Human uh, nature. Human nature, you know, gotta, gotta adjust. Um, so, high school was kind of like that threshold was like, all right, bet, 
let me go to college. Let me do this. I want to uh, join a fraternity. You're I trying wanna... to find the mold. Exactly. You're learning how to break the mold. The square you're route, You're learning. Though. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. We so, all, yep. Yeah, bro. Um, it's, it's like, so once I kind of got past that and went to college, did that, that was a whole nother thing, you mm -hmm. know, trying to bada bean, bada bow. Uh, bro, I was I was supposed to become become a dentist, bro. Like I was mm. going to school. I got a degree in biology. I got a master's in biology, and bro, like I was so I was on like the straight and narrow, like yo. Do you Indian that's, parents? I was about to say, yeah, Caribbean <laughs> parents. Yeah. Or something? Nah, bro, I just have two <laughs> parents who just like they really let they raised me do the they raised a good child. Yeah, but mm -hmm. it, I mean, like you know, but they like, let you figure it out. They, they let me figure it out, and bro. they and they like push you in the directions you wanted to go so you could try it out and figure it out. hundred percent. And like, it was just me, my brother, my mom in the house. So like, you know, like my mom, she really was working heavily. So me, I was on that computer, bro. Mm -hmm. I was on that computer. You just and your like, thoughts. School, just like, all right, outside of the fashion, like, okay, I want to become a dentist. I want to do that. So how do I learn how to learn these mechanisms and all before going into college, bro? So like, I was on some nerd shit, bro. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. Like, but. You still got any dentist knowledge on you? Uh, I mean, I ain't yeah, gonna lie, fast. man. I I work shoot. I right now I work for a company that's kind of dental orient oriented. So yeah. Okay, question. That's fucking beautiful. Because I saw a video recently, and it changed the way I brush my teeth, and I can't tell if it's working or not. Yeah. But apparently, everybody's brushing their teeth wrong. Like you know, how most people <laughs> they grab it, they shh, yeah. circles and all that circles. shit. Apparently, you're supposed to tilt the brush to an angle and then brush down from the gums. Is that is that what you learned? Uh, I I see. I've been that, doing it I recently. I saw that short. But yeah, bro, when it comes to brushing, man, like mm -hmm. I've I've talked to a lot of patients and I've talked to like a lot of people who like even like dentists, um, periodontists, like I've talked to different where brushing, it's really like your way because everybody's they don't want to get technical, but like get technical. Everybody's dentition is different. So like right. you want to be able to brush according to how your teeth are structured and how like your mm. like certain thing okay so like you may you may be dealing with like gum recession or like some mm. some type of issues right and it's a certain type of style that you have to brush in order for your gums to alleviate pain right like it's a whole bunch of, it's a whole bunch of techniques oh, i feel like we just unlocked the side of his brain just yeah, now bro, like, I, like, <laughs> i'll be all over the place bro i can't even lie i'll be all over the place um but to answer your question Refer to your dentist because I don't want to give you an un uh, unauthorized responsible answer. ass. Yeah, you're unprescribed. Like we got <laughs> we got different teeth structures, <laughs> nigga. His way not my way. Yo, that's <laughs> yo for sure though. Yo, man. that's crazy. Nah, that's insane. I went to A uh, and T. I was about to go. <laughs> I went for finance and uh, supply chain. Dang. So yeah, that's how you know at you first I was going for computer science though. So, yeah, I, niggas was on a whole nother life track. Yeah. Yo. But ask him a computer question and see what happens. I mean, don't, don't, <laughs> I, I'm He's not building not your website. Impress. I'm wait, not building your website. You, what year did you go to the T? Uh, I graduated high school 2018. So, yeah, that year, 2019. <laughs> bro, I was I was in my master's there. I was I was teaching some classes at that point when you was there, bro. <laughs> he probably <laughs> scooped your young ass. Bro, I cannot make this shit up, That's bro. crazy. I cannot make it up, bro. Yeah, hell hey, yeah. Hey, that's bro. crazy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you bro. almost learned from that. Hey, yeah. Aggie Pride, nigga. Aggie <laughs> Pride. Aggie Pride. Sure, and bro. I dropped out. But, you know, it's still, I loved, it's, it's an experience yeah. that I'm glad I left, but I wouldn't have been mad if life would have happened. Exactly. Mm because -hmm. it is an experience. Y'all don't got, like, no secret handshake to do? Nah, we would have you, you, you. <laughs> y'all both Aggies. Like, it's crazy how you said they even bark at each other when they came. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. That, that might get us attacked. You don't know about them oh, Q sorry, niggas. Sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I didn't go there. I was about to say. <laughs> but you, it's crazy. In the beginning, you was talking about you were thinking about joining Kappa. Yeah, I am. Why? I am. You're a Kappa. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, so, you, so you be crazy. you do the shoulders. Your I mean, shoulders? I, I, kinda, I, I ain't gonna lie, man. I let the little young niggas. I okay, let the young okay, niggas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cut, man. Okay. I'm gonna okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shoulders ain't as loose as they yeah. used to be. Yeah. There we go. I'm gonna be honest. And on okay. top of that, like, I'm always the one. I'm in the cut. But man. you do keep, but you do keep the cane, though. Oh, yeah. We gotta, you gotta, you have gotta keep the cane. Nigga, you ain't see that limp when he walked in. I was about to say. It's permanent. You know what It's permanent, right? Oh, my God. You're my God. Oh, my God. And it's crazy because it's like, I was thinking about joining, um, you know, that organization or whatever. Okay. But uh, it, it was some niggas. But he wasn't pretty enough. Nah, it was some niggas. 
That might be weird. That might be gay. You <laughs> say that's the black niggas. I don't know. I might, ain't make that up. Yeah, you should have went. Am I lying? You should have went to college. Nah, you figured out. I got a homie that's a Kappa, and that's what he said. That's the, the same until I got. They judge based off of looks at where he went. Um, Kappa. Nigga, we nah, and not an ANC no, that can't nah, be. Nah, nah. Okay. But yeah, I just man. never joined because it, it wasn't like it was some niggas that was in the organization that right. was like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about that. But okay. But uh, it, it, this is about <laughs> you though. No, no, but no. I mean to answer that question, like, bro, you know how it is, man. It's just that's just part of the world. It, Everything whatever, is different. You know, you know yeah. what I'm saying. So yeah. everybody has a different experience. How has being a Kappa yeah. helped you? Like I'm, I know, like I know the, the y'all niggas move like the mob. Like I know all it takes is one call from most capitalists, and you're gonna be in a position where you want to be. Like how has that for sure. like been help helpful? You know, yeah, what I mean? yo, wow, I probably wouldn't be here talking if yeah. it wasn't for a capital. But hmm. man, I like, I mean, I part of me don't want to make it all about me because I like I'm really fond of what you guys are doing but like in high school I did Kappa League bro so like I oh yeah and my dad's a Kappa so like I'm heritage oh. yeah the you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah you was fucking so, groomed bro it's, okay. a, it's a picture up there of me as a kid with a Kappa shirt on a uh, kid Kappa oh. shirt on let me ask you you know how disappointed your father would have been if I would have joined, you ripped up, another set. He well, told me straight up, like, "Look, I ain't." What I was gonna ask like, you, not mine no more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just Capital really blood. quick, if you don't mind me asking, um, would you say that when you grew up, your father was like one of your heroes? Wow, that's a great question. Um, yes, I will say that when I was a kid, for sure. Because uh, if it wasn't for him, like as far as like this mentality of like trying to really hustle, yeah, like, really yeah. trying to make some yeah. shit shake. He really like instilled that in me and my brother and shit. So like, yeah, it definitely was yeah. like. The you seem like a dude who had like a lot, like you said, support. But not only, not I don't want to attribute it just to that because you have your own individual characteristics I that make you as great as you are. Uh -huh. But having those parents, like you said, who believe in you. Yeah. Oh yeah, that shit is pivotal, bro. Like yeah. you need, you need a support system, dog. Like. That's, that's the only hard. reason I'm still going for real. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hard. Yeah. Unless you're an archangel, it's some people. And yeah, it's the red breed. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. the red breed, but some people are successful in spite. For sure. Yeah. For sure. That is true. Fuck my parents. Not mine, Good but super. that's that's some people's mentality. Good parents went to college. Yeah. Did a bitch break your heart? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Come on, man. It's okay. Life, man. All right, all right. Yo, all right. I, I mean, yo, I got to keep it 100. Like, <laughs> yo, I don't know shit, man. Like, now, yeah, the problem yeah. is when there's too many of them. Yeah. Like, it's going to happen at least once or twice. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But four or five times. It's like, all right, like you, bro, you might be yeah. the issue. Yeah, you might be the might issue. Might have a fragile yeah. heart, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> man. Nah, man. I think, but also every every encounter that I've had with any woman, bro, like it's always <laughs> been like a learning experience for me. And I got love for everybody I've been like came across in life, mm -hmm. and I'm hope and I pray to God that, like that I help them as much as they help me. Uh, but yeah, man, we all get our heart broken. Man. Of course, it's part of it. Bro. It's a part of it's life. Part of it. That's why you got to put it in the art. Yeah, put Yo, the pain in the art. Live the pimp another that's, day. That's yeah. exactly what I'm doing, bro. Yeah. Everything is pushing out in the, in the yeah. work, bro. That's yeah, it, bro. yeah, that's it, bro. <laughs> Can't make this shit. How how does one get connected with like? Where did you talk to the Raleigh like government officials to yeah. get the skate park like up and running and just to be a part of that? Mm, how does that even work? Yeah, 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 bro. So I mean. I don't even want to take credit for what, you know, that them guys over there. And shout out to a lot. It was a lot of people. It was a lot of hands. And put a little shout context on it because so, yeah. people might not know Because I don't even, I really honestly, I don't even know how to describe it. But there's a skate park that's new that Jay Ward, this good brother here, was a part of. As well as a bunch of other people. Shout out sure. Natty Locks. Yes. Um, yes. Beautiful. Natty, here to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shout out the factory. Met her out there. But. Um, Damn, she was a part of that. Yeah, she was a part of that. Mm -hmm. But it was so many people a part of that to where. I feel like you being added to it, it added like what it represented. Yeah. Like you was what it represented. For sure, for sure. I, I, bro, I, I like where you're you going know what with I mean? that. I definitely, and I do not want to take it away because those skaters, man, those skate like yeah, for sure. You can offend, you can offend the community when it comes to like trying to take that. And you know, uh, wow. Well, before you but, continue, um, before this like whole skate park was built, right. I believe there was a skate documentary. 
yeah. that was being filmed beforehand. Yeah. So like for the past eight months, it was just like a lot of skate shit. Yeah. yeah you know bro. what I mean? It was just yeah. so much yeah, skate yeah, yeah. news and for skate sure. videos. Mm -hmm. But all right. So, well, so, okay. So I'm gonna make it quick. So like, skate scene is very. It's. It's what's a better word for Tinder, but it's Tinder at this point where you can offend anything you say, yeah. man, those skaters, mm -hmm. man, they take it to heart because we're trying to build something that it's vulnerable right now. Yeah. Like, so the structure of building the skate park side, like that, it was a lot of hands, a lot of like people who really do this skate shit, yeah. man, like they, this is what they do. So it's yeah. like, yo, we need something there. My side of it is like, yo, as a creative, as somebody who watches like what I'm doing and all these different outlets is bringing like a certain style to the park, if that makes sense, yeah. from my outlet. A certain um, credibility. That too. That too. Yeah. Um. So on top of that, us yeah. shooting the documentary, trying to shoot a movie with it and everything, like, it's all working simultaneously, bro. Like, yeah. Because I, I really <clears throat> love skating. If it wasn't for skating, I wouldn't be in the fashion. I wouldn't be in the music. I wouldn't be, like, into everything. So, like, I'm really just paying homage to what skating do has done for me. But, like, telling other people, kids and shit, like, yo, pull up to this park. Like, it's everybody's yeah. a family. Like, mm -hmm. learn if you want to learn how to skate, all yeah. that. Like, the skate culture is kind of crazy because uh, my sister, she skates a lot. She's avid. Fired. Like, she, she's been begging to try to go to that new park that y'all built. But, it's hard. Like, she was just telling me about some of the things that y'all do, and I come from a basketball world, so I was kind of trying to relate to that shit. Yeah. She, like, I remember one day she was like, I got this new board. I was like, where the fuck you get a new board? She was like, when you get a new board as a skater and your old one is in, you know, standard condition, you just leave it there. Somebody else pick it up. Yep. You know, it's just like, it just continues yeah. and moves forward. And I was like, damn, I'm going to start leaving my old basketballs at the court. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. Start a trend. When they sure. get a titty in them, lose all the grip. And this is, Wow. Yeah. yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, man. This it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It, it, it took, uh, so I mean, bro, it, it took a lot of money. Um, bro, yeah. It took a lot of money. Um, and also, I mean, this is also where, like, the city does need to come together because what they are trying to do, and I'll just put it out there, like, the city is trying to bring ac an actual park where they're trying to push the skate park out, bro. So, you know, uh, that's why they need more people of, like, uh, pulling okay. up bro, and all I, that. I'll go out there, bro. Yeah, like, even, even that or just, like, yo, like, you tell the kids, like, you just tell me, like, yo, there's a skate park going on because the more attraction it comes, the more, like, it can Normal stay here. Normal yeah. it will be. Bro, they're the trying to they're trying to make it a dog park, basically. Are you like, serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. The, city is, the city is wild, man. It's yeah, they don't city. want these unsavory characters here. Damn. Yeah, yeah man. A fucking dog these park. These young creatives, yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. And, and So what, is that what it takes? It's just more people coming to support? Like, Lauren should donate his wrist? <laughs> is, um, we're gonna fall. True. We're gonna. We haven't skated in a long time. It's been a long time, but I'm still yeah. kind of nice. All right, we, now we, got, have bro, to we go. got a link, bro. We got a link. I still got it on. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Right. Uh, Shit, he doesn't. Oh, it, it takes that. But don't it, let him fool you. He's 33 something years old. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 33, I, but that actually, don't mean nothing. I believe, bro. Yeah. Like, uh, we got a link. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, I, I still yeah. have some in me. I know I do. You, you can roller skate, right? I can roller blade really well. I could tell. I skate. I I've, I've you been, I, I grew up. I grew up doing all the ex extreme sports shit. You know what I'm saying? So me and my oh, niggas, man. I was one of the three niggas who it was mm -hmm. us three skateboarding in the neighborhood. Yeah. Like, Literally, yeah. while yeah. you was inside on the computer, <laughs> I was, we was doing everything. Lo we was outside breaking ankles. Yeah, we was skateboarding, biking, playing basketball, football. We was doing everything outside of my my day. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, it's how you learn everything. But um, still probably got a tray flip in me. Whoa, we'll the link, a tray flip. I might we'll have, have one tray flip in me. You're digging a hole, Lauren. Like you, you I understand? Can't, that, that, was, that was my that was my best trick. I never got further than that. But that was my best trick. A tray flip with your best. That's yeah. a pretty good and you, trick. Hey. You think you can still do your best trick right now? That'd take a few tries. But I probably oh, I probably God. land one. Why do I believe it? I didn't yeah. keep him. I might land nah, one. No, we're yeah. gonna keep his word. I might land one. Keeping his word. I'm sure I can hit a a kick flip, uh, heel flip. Couple shove it, okay. Something like that. Write down all these tricks he said. I'm remembering. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> those those, are, those are basic, simples. I should be able to do. All right, stand the fundamentals. Yeah, you can get that done. What's the Ollie. first trick you learn? Uh, Ollie, Ollie, right? Of course, Ollie. 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 Yeah. Ollie. Is that a trick though? It is low key. Yes, yes. no, it is. That, yes, it is. that's like saying dribbling a basketball. Is a trick. There's an art or, to an ollie. People ollie and don't get off the ground. To be true. able to ollie fully okay. and like okay. extend and pull and your knees up yeah, to your chest yeah. and have your board with you. Yeah. That's, okay. That's a fundamental move because it That's translates different. into other shit. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Okay. It's very okay. true. Okay. Yeah. 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 So uh, first trick for sure. Um, and then like, I think I learned like do pop shove is like a while. Mm -hmm. Like the thing is, man, as a kid, like 
when you land at Ollie, it's like, oh, oh I'm on to something. Yeah. Coldest I'm, nigga I'm yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now like, you just Ollie in over things. How how much things be, can you Ollie over? Because How-high. opportunities. Yes. Because once you can Ollie, you can flip the board in the air. Bro. And then at that point, it's just you got to land. On top of when you can do something that you see in these skate videos too, and like it, I was watching a lot of skate videos yeah. too, it's like, oh snap, I just landed something that he did as well. That's fire. So yeah. like, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. I think the Ollie is like it's it's spiritual for all the kids when you can learn. When you learn, it's like, all right, I'm gonna keep it going. Yeah. So, That's yeah. also like your way into running with the group. Yes. Yeah. If yeah. you if you learn how to Ollie, you're not gonna be outside with everybody. Exactly. Hundred <laughs> percent. You can't leave that porch until you can Ollie off that motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. And the last thing, me and my homies, like, we were all kind of, like, racing to see who can ollie first. My yeah. homie knew how to do it stationary. He figured it out. I got mad because I'm like, fuck, I'm the one that brought skateboard into the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. But my homies and everything, I need to be learning how to do this. You and can't so, even read yet. Bro. <laughs> yeah. And so I had, or I was, like, up all night, like, watching videos, but then going outside the ollie. And then I figured out how to do it. And I think, like... I showed my homies like, yo, I done figured out how to do a rolling ollie. It's lit. Mm-hmm. And, uh, after that, man, like, yeah, bro. It's just that competitive edge, but it's fun. Like, everybody kind of helping each other out because I started teaching everybody how to ollie and everything. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, bro. And as far as, like, adding more uh, obstacles, what do you, do you call them obstacles? Ramps. I was about to call them pieces, I swear to God. Yeah, yeah, pieces. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't been on wheels in all how long, dude. I don't know what they Stop call them nowadays. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, uh, like, like, people I, say DIY, you know, just yeah. to kind of, you know. Yeah, because. Yeah. Yeah. Need a little half pipe, quarter pipe or something. Yeah, but people sure. can add whatever they, like, have people starting to bring their own little. Yes. People donating ramps. Yes. I, I, I'm not going to say this on wax because I don't know if it's going to happen. But I'll talk to you about it after. That's like oh, some God. cool shit. But I know, I do know, my bad, at uh, Marsh Creek. There's like yeah. a open area and people just bring rails and like yeah yeah, yeah. That's, that's, part shit. Com- that's part of the culture it's though part of the culture. like it's real sure. communal that's why I kind of sure. fuck with that shit from afar yeah yeah because yeah. I don't want to break my shit it's yeah. by like the camaraderie for sure yeah no nah, it's definitely family oriented for sure and shout out all the homies that skate at uh, Marsh man like that's the spot for real right bro it's like like and granted like me I I'm kind of like late to the party of what they built so like the times that i have went as far as just like i'm just like trying to meet and like network and everything mm-hmm. but they've been doing this for years bro yeah. like that park bro they they done built a real that, culture out that there, park bro. has yeah. been worn out everybody it's who different. ever lived in raleigh is has their name tagged bro, bro that's just probably like, like having a star on the hollywood walk of fame it's like nigga my blood is stained right literally <laughs> that's my spot yeah. literally hell yeah man yeah. Goodness gracious, skate parks. Yeah, nah, skating is a... Uh, what What about it do you enjoy? I know that's an intense question, but yeah. it's like, like is it is it a freedom you feel? Because a lot of people, like, for me, if I really wanted to skate, I feel like I would be like a distance type of nigga. Like, for I would sure. want to ride. A lot mm-hmm. of niggas kind of do tricks, and, like, it's different It's different facets that you can be in. For sure. Yeah, what's your style? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just, like, mastering new moves? Or are you uh, a writer, Paul? I'm... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Uh the true, yo, like now, like yo, that shit helps me create, bro. Like just I, think. It helps me think. It helps yeah. me like if I'm if I got something that I'm like working on and I can't like and let's say like I'm working on a design and like I'm like, yo, this doesn't look like how I imagine it. If I go skate, I come with a whole different perspective. So it'd be helping me as far as like thinking. Mm. I, I listen to like a lot of music or like like sometimes I'll skate and listen to like jazz music or like classical just for the strength, mm-hmm. off the strength. Cause like then it takes my brain of like start thinking of other things like, oh, yeah. work on this art exhibit. Oh, yeah, work on this, uh, <clears throat> work on this movie. Um, yo, you should write a book. Yo, yeah. you should do this. Yo, you got to create this shirt tonight. And so like, I like it just helps <laughs> skate, skating be helping me just do, but I be, I really be dolo a lot when I do skate. Yeah. But when I am in the city or w- and when I am like with the homies and stuff, I be trying to make sure that like I can try to link up with them and stuff because it, it's nothing like linking up with a whole bunch of skate homies, especially like downtown Raleigh and just it's, like taking it over, bro. Yeah. Loiter squad, yes, it's bro. literally exactly, yeah. exactly, yeah. exactly, bro. So, like, we trying to build, so I'm just trying to bring as more people, like, especially the youth, man, like teaching yeah. a whole bunch of. You know, the crash out kids and everything. Like, yo, try skating, yo, for real, for real. Like, yeah. try skating, yo. So, um, yeah, man, we on to something, man. We working. But the movie that I'm working on, bro, I'm I'm excited for that, man. I think that's really gonna like educate of what we really doing in the city. Okay, so that was that movie is still Yeah, still in progress. Okay. We, we got part one, we pushed part one out. Well, I kind of 
teased it at my art exhibit that I did. Um, and I kind of showed like some previous people of it, but like it's a it's a continuing series, man. But part one is fire. I can't even lie. Part one is fire. You've gotten a lot of like uh like going in like the art side. Yeah. You you starting to get a like a lot of holistic pussy? Yo, 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 yo. You get what I mean? Like, stop reading his mind. Yo. And yeah, what was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. we're, we're on the same frequency. Yeah, yeah. But like, you get like because I know. <laughs> I like y'all getting the same pussy. As soon as you go into another field, yeah, it's like a completely different. You know what I mean? Like, what has the art brought you? Oh man, yo, all right. So I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to tell him myself. But I will, I will say this. I will say this. Tapping into these different industries, you meet a whole bunch of different type of people. A lot of different people. Whole a lot, lot of lot different fat asses you know. is what he just said. No, no, like no, no. A whole lot of different people. A lot of different structures. structures a lot of different architecture. You're right. You're right. Design. Like, I didn't even realize I like small titties. And to this bitch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Type shit. It, it, next to the art. It, mm. it, next always, to the art. Always. Ex- always. Course, because that's course. the beautiful thing about art. It accentuates everything around it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, accentuate is a great word. Uh, <laughs> I bet he can't spell it. <laughs> <I'm>, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm over here like, shit. Yeah, um, nah, don't be impressed by that shit. Yo. <laughs> you no, got an app. So it does bring you, now, uh, granted, I love, like, yeah. like, I love for everybody. So, like, mm. my thing is just, like, really trying to tap into these different communities to let them know what type of time I'm on as far as, like, look, like, genuinely, I fuck with what y'all got going on as far as art or whether it's whatever else, but like, just know I'm coming in here Mm -hmm. and I'm trying to make my mark as well. And people respect that I'm coming from a genuine perspective. Mm -hmm. So like it gravitates to people in these different communities. Have you ever gotten uh, at least a little bit of resistance to where it's like, hey, nigga, you're not really here with us. You just kind of pimping this out for a little bit. Even and, though that might not yeah. be what you're actually doing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, I will say this, like, not in the art. I've gotten embraced a lot in the art, but mm-hmm. the, on the music tip. It's a little funny. Music Hell, is hard, yeah. though. Music, yeah, music yeah, is yeah. tricky, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a tricky sport, music yeah. is. Niggas get really uptight about their riddles. Bro, I'm like, yo, like, but this is my thing. My thing is, like, if I'm a nigga that's, like music wise, I study music, bro. Like yeah. I, I rock with all different type of artists. I, I, I could tell because when you was brought up jazz, I was wondering like what type of jazz you like. I fuck with like a Leon. T- it the thing is with jazz is so many niggas. Yeah, hell yeah. To where yeah. like they're all wrong answers. It's it's literally musicians. Mm-hmm. It's not even like it's not even artists. artists. It's, musicians. No, it's musicians. Like what's your favorite clarinet player, nigga? Come on, bro. Like Come you on. know, it should get deep. Shout out three stacks too. I'm glad you're bringing up all this type of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Is he your favorite clarinet player? Three Stacks is amazing, gang. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I just re-listened to the flute album. It, you know what I mean. Music to skate. If you've if you've listened to like uh, cause Mad Lib, he even has some tapes with okay. with a couple different jazz artists and mm. some some oh, tapes that are like a little bit out there, a little obscure. He pulled from some different gen- uh, references, but they still are. And that was the vibe I got when I was re-listening to. It. I was yeah. like, I was like, damn, this Three Stacks album. It's not bad. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I. I feel like if I was an artist, like I would get happy, yeah, listening to it every time, for sure, just because of like the idea of it, you know. Do this, like, so because like that album is incredible. Like, yeah, anytime I'm trying to like think or like focus or even like, like if I'm working on a painting, I finish a painting, I will play, yeah. I'll play that album and I'll just look at the painting for like an hour. I it literally it's literally like on some like Frank Zappa, like without the. Without the other niggas in the band, I get what you're saying. You know what, what I mean. Just as far as saying. the, like how he's putting it together. Mm-hmm. You probably just impressed Cletus. Yeah, shout out to Cletus. We got an old head that watches his name Cletus. He's like okay. 76 years old. Yeah, you sounded very regal right a good now. Brother. Yeah, you probably. Shout but nah, man, music music is beautiful, man. Yeah, man. Especially jazz, bro. Jazz. I feel like a lot of people don't like respect jazz. It's, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to say it's necessarily. Uh, it's it's a part of it, but I think it's becoming a lost art. I think mm. a lot of like because think of just like the algorithms now and just like what people are yeah like being listening fed. to being mm-hmm. fed bro like you know like we appreciate jazz maybe but we, go ahead go ahead I was gonna say I actually 
think the opposite. I think a lot of people appreciate jazz. It's just people don't make new jazz anymore. So like that too. No, you pee pee no, when, when you oh, hold, pre, me, when I say appreciate jazz, I mean if we're walking down the street and the person's on the sax, yeah. most times you're gonna stop for a little bit and listen. Mm -hmm. Of course. And sure. pay attention. And especially in Raleigh. That's, and that's the problem that's though. That's what I think it is. Jazz is such a pure art, it's yeah. hard to scale. So anything mm. that's hard to scale, like yep. that a lot of things that are popular are profitable. Yes. And if yeah. you can scale no. something, it's going to go to the masses. I, I, jazz is damn near different jazz. every time you play it, even if it's the same song, because it's got that improvisation. Jazz. It's, it's a niche thing now. Jazz. You yeah, get what I'm saying? Sure. It's, it's sure. pure. It's too pure to be on like that grand scale. Not really, though, because you do have your artists like, you know, like your use of days, your fucking Kamal Williams, like your yeah. your. You're jazz artists. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Maurice it, Brown. You, you want to know what jazz is like? Jazz, it, it's almost like as niche as golf in a weird way to where like you need to be in the perfect place to play this sport or mm. to like even see it. You know what I mean? I like you're not that. just. Maybe to get the best out of it. You know what I mean? Like jazz is good for certain things but, like skating. Yeah, skate don't do that. But jazz, there's some but, poor kid in the hood that's learning how to golf right now. Probably. He's I the would, only one. I would pray. He's the only one. I would pray. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's happening. He's better off following Jay Ward and getting <laughs> some skateboarding tips. Yo, nigga. He might not be as talented as Jay Ward. <laughs> <laughs> but, but jazz is, I do uh, appreciate jazz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just sure. on, uh, I, it is a regal like type of type of music. Yeah, yeah, of It's a beautiful course. sound, man. Uh, it is, it is. Um, it's a lot of black people who have came through in the world of jazz. And uh, one of my biggest, Miles Davis, man, like Shout out just Davis. the way I, I did a painting just inspired by him. So, man, I, I don't know. I love music, man. Just kind of going back to I love music. Mm -hmm. I listen to a lot of music. So just kind of like people from the city may feel offended if I'm trying to tap inside the music thing. Like, yo, maybe I just want to create a label. Maybe I just yeah. want to like try out music just to see if I'm good at it. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to lie. I mean, yeah, I'm supposed to feel like I'm good at it. You yeah. know, so I'm going to, Talk the way I talk. I'm gonna do the way I do. This is how I feel. This is what I'm in, like inspired and influenced mm -hmm. by. So, you know, it's just all gonna be poured out in these different mediums, bro. And mm -hmm. music is just one way of pouring out art. Yeah, and it's like shit. If you've excelled in everything else you did, it's like music. You know what I mean? Just right. God knows, nigga. Just <laughs> never know, bro. Just Ward knows, nigga. Yeah, I'm about to say, <laughs> who are some of your favorite people? Ooh, like not even like not even just musicians or yeah, like just yeah. your favorite people that do ill nasty shit. Fire shit, right? Um, the first one that comes to mind, I got a list, bro. The first person that comes to mind, music wise, and just like how, just how he conveys just his way of just his ambiance, bro. Dom Kennedy, bro. Like, okay, I like that. Yo, like ambiance. Yeah, bro. Like my brand is like inspired by his colors, so like that's why I kind of like. Huh. Bro, yeah, yeah, bro. It's fire. But Dom um, is Dom is a good one. Yeah, Dom is fire, man. Um would y'all put Dom currency and like uh Larry June and all in the same type of close. Larry June and Dom closer out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Larry, sure. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. But the, the thing you, you notice about them is like longevity wise, they gonna be like they, longevity. They know, bro. They know that they got their community, they know they got their following. And they ain't got to, like, try to... They're not playing catch-up. Yeah, bro, yeah. yeah. So, and they're not trying to be something that they don't need to be either. They're you got to play at your own pace. Exactly. Yeah. And that's exactly what yeah. I'm doing, mm -hmm. bro. That's yeah. exactly... Like, I'm not trying to, like, rush to do something. Like, I'm really just, like, patient with everything. Granted, you know, like, age. Like, some people like to put age on shit. But, mm -hmm. like, yo, I'm just falling in love with, like, the the journey of just like, yo, I'm just doing shit, bro. Yeah. Just doing shit. So. Bro, it, life is so, like, life is so weird that, like, it's really only in a couple different, it's only on a couple different continents yeah. where age is, like, it's a real thing that matters. For sure. Because if you go to, like, some tribes, it's some, like, women who are probably 60, 70, but they keep claiming they're 40. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. It's like, yeah, I'm about 40 years old. Like, really, mm -hmm. age is... You go to some high school locker rooms, it's probably a 6'9 Nigerian. That's, I mean, he's 32. I'm about to say. <laughs> <trying> wasn't <laughs> wasn't Bowl Bowl that, like, 50-something? But Who the knows? nigga claimed he was 20? Manu yeah, Bowl? What's yeah. his name? I don't know. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I'm Manu Bowl. Yeah, I'm, the basketball player? Yeah. yeah. I'm not hip, though, about the age thing. I ain't know he was yeah, Allegedly, the nigga was, like, well... Over forty. I hope. I hope he wasn't <laughs> moving like that. That's wild. That's that wild. would be crazy That's though. Crazy. Which is, That's I don't insane. even know why they lie, but uh, sports. It's unfortunate. Big though. NBA contracts, nigga. Yeah. yeah. 
But uh, who else is on yeah, that yeah, list? Yeah, yeah, bro. Uh, so, um, Don King, like Don Kenny. Okay, so like what? What feel just like just like any feel? Because the thing is, right? You do so much cool shit that right. in my head, I'm thinking it's like, yo, I fuck with. Like you know how Kanye thinks. Like he appreciates Walt photographers, Disney, yeah. uh, Shakespeare. Yeah, like he's yeah, just got yeah. a bunch of people that he pulls from. This like his inspiration. Right? Yeah, like yeah. who's who's on your mood board? Like from photographers to fucking, it could be F one drivers. You know what I mean? For sure. For Lewis sure. Hamilton, shot favorite yeah. hooker. You know, I don't know about your page. All right, so <laughs> okay. All right, so let me. All right, I don't because I don't want to go through a. And it is a convoluted question, yeah. but it's just as far as like. Cause it's like shit. Anybody can shit for yeah. real. Like yeah. you, you drop oh. names throughout the yeah, pod. Yeah, yeah, There's no yeah. wrong answer. It's yeah, no wrong for sure, answer for sure. All right. So how how I look at things is like, of course, people are gonna say like Barack. Like he inspired me in ways. Like, <laughs> people are gonna say like Barack. Barack. Yeah, I mean, because these things is like it's the cliche terms, right? Yeah. Yeah. So for yeah. me. Like, like I said, kind of resorting to mm-hmm. computer stuff. So I would look at like the Pharrells, the Yays, Jay Z's, mm-hmm. and only because like my my mom, she was she was a big like going back to music. She was a big music head. So like she would have racks of just albums and albums and albums. And then like if Ye was to drop like let's say graduation, which he did, and my mom would go pick it up the day of bring it to That's the crib hard. and play it. And I'm literally like zoned out just listening to her. Yeah. She's learning. She's listening to the music. I'm listening to the music. My brother's listening to the music. And so those type of things is kind of like what I gravitated first as far as like people who I looked mm-hmm. up to, you mm-hmm. know, in, in a sense. So like I'm, I'm going to say like, yay and Pharrell first off bat. Um, but if we are want to get technical, like there's like some dentist out here. That That's inspired. what I'm saying. That's yeah, what I mean. Bro, like, like, who got the illest teeth yeah, in the game right now? Yo, like. This lady, it's this lady named Dr. Rosalind Crisp. When I tell you, oh, she's sound official. She's based out in like Greensboro slash Asheboro. This lady owns five different practices. She went to Chapel Hill. She uh, she got like two kids who are dentists, but y'all, I've never seen a lady work five offices. And like, I don't want to, I don't want to pocket what this lady is paid. I was about to say, I, I I will pocket watch. Um, she's owning a dental practice. It's not dummy proof, yeah. but it's kind of dummy proof because people need their teeth clean. For sure. For Dentists sure. make a lot of fucking money. Hell yeah. She's Hell a millionaire. Yeah. A multi-millionaire. And Over that's it. just off of that's just off of her main business. Oh, God yeah. knows what investments. Oh my gosh, yeah. Um, so like okay. God so, damn, Lauren, you put up a what's this a LinkedIn? No, nah, I'm just looking, I'm yeah. looking some shit. But up yeah, nah, Dr. Rosalind Chris. Listen, listen, nigga. she okay. is the GOAT. I'm telling you. I feel you. I'm okay. telling you. So yeah. like that, and but then there's like architects, bro. Like so, uh, man, he made the African American Museum in D.C. Um, oh, uh, Jay, yeah, yeah, wow. yeah, 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 fire! Black man from Africa, um, black man from Africa made bro, a museum that you hate. Come, bro, when I tell you, <laughs> man, like, like these type of pulls that it's inappropriate. I look, I look <laughs> to, um, bro. I just try to find like people who. It's not even. It's weird. Like I get what you're saying. Yeah. Like it's it's just a feeling. Yes. You know what oh, I mean? Yes. Like where you look at something and it could be appreciated. Yeah. Hell you yeah. know what I mean? Like LeBron yeah. James, nigga. It's yeah. like it's like a level of taste that you have yeah. for whatever category of passion you in. Yeah. So like you can kind of tell what's quality. Right. But it's yeah. the level of taste itself that that is the set point. It's not whatever the medium or whatever the institution or uh the thing that we're talking about is it's just, it's just the taste, the level yeah. of taste. Like yeah. and when a person Achieves that level of taste, you can admire who that person exactly. is, regardless exactly. of what it is they do. Exactly, Preach, nigga. you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, and that's all it, bro. Yeah. It's so many different fields mm-hmm. where I can pinpoint it, but it's just like the thing that they're doing mm-hmm. inspires me, bro. Yeah. So like, it could be somebody like from my neighborhood who is like an exceptional teacher mm-hmm. and is great as what they're doing, and and I may not know like their full name, but. I know what they do and it inspires me. Or a nigga oh, hustling man. shirts. Bro, yes. You know how hard you got to work to go outside of a barbershop and sling t-shirts, nigga? And let me just say, because <laughs> you already don't have no, a no, job. No, no, no. It's, it's pretty fucking <laughs> difficult. To bro. make profit. Bro. Yeah. Okay. To make profit. Well, I mean, Jody made it look real easy and baby boy, he just started slinging the dresses. Just living with his mother. It's nigga. not hard to do. It's hard to be good at it. And that's it's what we're talking about, tastemakers. That's sure. what we're talking exactly. about, mm-hmm. being the tastemaker and being able to, to be that person. Yeah. yeah. So, and, and that person is doing something a little different that makes yeah. him separate. And when you look at his, yeah. his setup, you like, this nigga's doing it different. And you Bro. can see that and you go over there and you say, what's going on here? Bro. And then your wallet gets warm. 
Exactly. Yeah. I was just going to say really quick. So, like, um, just kind of like as far as, like, people, right? Like, mm-hmm. so the shirt I got on, right? Oh, mm-hmm. shit. Bro, dude, straight from prison, bro. He's a freaking creative. I met him. I met him, yes, no, day before yesterday. Wow. I met him yesterday. What, what, Saturday. I'm, so, I met him, I met him yesterday. Guy straight out the pen. He, he wanted, like, he's just like, yo, I've been working on stuff um, while I've been inside inside this hole for years and years and years, bro. I, this man made a freaking model. This man is like an architect slash designer. He made a modeled house out of a cereal box. He started, that was it. In jail? In jail. Just, just hold on, bro. I'm telling, like, this, this shit is crazy. Inside the house, he had a staircase where it was spiral. He turned, that was from the tissue rolls. Chill he, out. And then he Damn. did individual stairs. He would cut him out and he made individual stairs. He had a door opening. He had a table, like a table set that was out of cardboard. Bro, he made a freaking home out of just Model home. prison materials, yeah. bro. I was so amazed. So then when he showed me his design, Nigga, I'm like. If I saw that shit, I would cry. Bro, I just couldn't believe that creatives are everywhere, but like they could be. In the cut yeah, in the for and, and a lot of times they're only held by held back by what they can't, you know, what they can't they can't produce because of how held back they are it's monetarily or exactly, whatever. You know what I'm exactly, bro. So like I'm trying to help him, like, yo, we gotta put this on front street of what's going on there. So no, I'm really real. just trying to like because I would buy that shirt. That I would buy that so shirt. He made that shirt right there. He made it Harlem. We doing a collab in Harlem. Um about to go tap in out there and um yeah, I told him like, bro, let's let's work. Like, let's just go crazy. Like, you don't even understand. The say? original doodle for that logo was probably on like a piece of prison toilet paper. Bro, the, this is from. He said it was inspired from prison, from the barbed bar bar wire. Like, it says produced like, streets. I was said, that shit is actually hard. Bro, I'm not even. I hard. said, bro, I need it. Bro. Oh, was it like product of the streets or something? Product of the streets. Yeah, bro. Okay, Harlem, okay, okay. Harlem, N- NYC, man. Yeah, yeah no, he's, he's solid, man. Shout out Manny, man, bro. That's a nice shirt. Fucking, that's a nice heavy con too. Mm-hmm. I like that. Good seams, and I like a quarter inch collar. Ah, Gotta yeah. have a quarter inch stuff, collar. Man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fire. show him your jacket. <laughs> bitch ass nigga. <laughs> so, so here's what happened, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me explain. <laughs> you explain. So, um, he bought a new jacket so, that he's very proud of, but okay, he I, bought it here and showed so, it to everybody. So it was like it was like bring your jacket to work Ooh. day. Thrift Wiz. Thrift Wiz. So. Oh. It's a new thrift store okay. downtown 207 East Carver Street. <laughs> so yet. I checked them out. Okay. And I ended up. Yeah, okay. He's so excited. I love this shit. Because you know what I'm saying? These niggas hating this shit. And you can unzip the fur out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's That's not a good feature. Can I fit the material? Mm hmm. Oh. You know what okay, I, mean? I see what you're going with. I see like, where you're going with it. But they don't understand. It's just a piece. Whenever this is necessary, I'm killing them. That's, I'm killing that, that's them. Not, Why are you so defensive? I'm ki- because I, you, you try, no fuck you. Don't let him lie. 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 <laughs> this shit is hard as fuck. <laughs> Look, man, I've I been see, calling I that see, shit hard as fuck for the I last two hours. Vision. I see the vision. That you wasn't that wasn't that wasn't the context of our laughter. The okay. context of our laughter came from the fact that he brought it as a prop for show and tell. When okay. it's seventy mm-hmm. degrees outside, he decided to wear that jacket in here. Then it's like, yeah, it's cool because you got a steal from the thrift shop. Right, right, right. And it was a cool jacket. You say it looks good. It feels good. That's nice. And then you start bragging about being able to zip it out. And it's like, (laughs) that's cool and all, but that kind of takes it down a level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, Lauren didn't like that the fur was removed. Zipping it off Uh doesn't mean that it's more quality. That means that it's less quality a little bit. But do you understand? It means it's functionality. It might be functional. (laughs) Functionality is so important. It's 2024, my nigga. It's very important. It's 2024. But it's very important. But when we're talking about lush, Luxury items. It Functionality it, is built into the material and whatever it is on its own. You it's know how a, I know it's not luxury? You know what's going to happen? Because he passed that jacket around to everybody at this fucking that's studio. What you want to know what's going to happen? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to hit up Jay Ward. <laughs> to de- I'm going to hit up Jay Ward to design me a trench coat. So if y'all want to talk shit it. about it, let's do it. Y'all talking shit talk about shit. Jay Ward. <laughs> hey, well, he'll make, he'll make, but, but he'll hold, make a better hold. coat than that, nigga. Nah, yeah. nah, nah, nah. He just talked his way into a free jacket. What the fuck is that? <laughs> That's smart. You're not slick hey, motherfucker. Y'all some smart guys. These are not I need that, Jay Ward. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they make it funny. <laughs> when and I know you're a loving guy, when I don't get you a jacket. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yo, you be safe, yo. Oh See, he was God. back there working on the movie. It's a lot of shit that happens. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Love it. He wasn't even watching this shit. Oh, this is <laughs> crazy, bro. Yeah, shout out to Shane. But nah, man, um, they was hating on my fucking trench coat. Okay. But I am curious, though, like, because <laughs> uh, I know you said, like, you're working with designers. Like, what is, 
like how do I answer, what's the best way to answer this question? Like what's like your dream? Mm. Like if you own a building, mm. what's inside that building? Like like when you walk in on the right, is it some clothes or is it like a little skate mini ramp? Like what's going to be the J Ward building? Because I know that shit is going to come. It's yeah. going to be hard. You're going to have yeah, like your yeah. own store and shit. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like what is that going to look like? Uh, You mentioned Rob Deerdeck earlier, right? I did. It's a good brother. And y'all seen how his show was, okay. how it was set up. Oh. Uh, so just think of that, but like really like on some like. Charlie in the chocolate factory. Type but like real yeah. functional. Cause, functional. Because I. I the removable okay. fur. Because it has to be. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be. It has to be something for the kids. So that's what I was about to get at. So like, but I do have an idea of where like you would have the storefront in the front. Like you'll have that. But then the back would be like we'll be doing like. Workshops for the kids. Workshops. Like, a lot yeah. of a lot of different like community engagements because I'm really big on community, bro. bro. So teach them how to make their own skateboards. That's really Shit, that would be fun. Literally, the coolest yeah, shit. Crazy, Literally, yeah. yeah. Like put the guns down, pick the boards up. Come on, bro. Yeah, come on, yeah. bro. Mm -hmm. Make on, your own man. skateboard and go skate outside with it. Exactly. Man. That's that's. Would actually, you over there vaping? Come Stupid. On. Come on, man. <laughs> hey, man, if you end up doing something yeah. like that, I'd love to be out of you. If you, if you end up doing something where niggas is making skateboards and kids is doing yeah. I would do that. Yeah. Literally service. just call us like we would definitely have to be a part of that. Yeah, they I love like, kids. Man. For real, for real. Because really, like, because what you just said about community is yeah. the most important part. Yes. And it's finding what you can give the community. Because mm -hmm. every... It's, like, anybody can grab, like, some fucking book bags. Yep. But Turkey everybody... Giveaways. Everybody has an innate thing they can give the world slash their community sure. that's exclusive to them. What do you think you could give? Mm. Hmm. Removable fur. Ism. Ism. Ooh. You're going to turn children into human traffickers? Pimps? Whoa. Bleep that word, Lauren. That's, <laughs> first of all, that's, I mean, that's, ism. that's the layman's way of thinking about ism. Layman's? I know Jay Ward, we know ism as thought a higher level of thinking. J. Ward is such a nice <laughs> guy. Don't reach out, bro. I don't know what you're doing. I love this thing. He's not going to let him sit. I know that. Bro, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. J. Ward. J. Ward. Look for a light Don't let him use you as a crutch. Don't let him use you as a crutch. No. Look at that wing. Nigga grabbing onto a buoy. Like, what's going on? Nigga swim. Yo. Bro, Trying to drown the nigga. I love yeah, this. Yeah. This is hard, bro. I love this, man. But nah, because I was just... Because honestly, man, like, what you're doing, man, it's really... It, it's not too many people mm -hmm. that are doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Like... To the degree that you're doing. To the degree. This nigga's trying. Yeah, this yeah, nigga's yeah, with the right that. intentions. Yeah. Like, yeah, and it just talk about, like, that real quick. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we... I don't know the age demographic for our viewers. Yeah. But I'm assuming it's a lot of young niggas. Mm -hmm. Like... Just talk about that mindset of like procrastination and like just how to defeat that shit. Like, when was the moment you was like, "All right, I'm done being a pussy." Procrastination, like, I, I don't even, I'll never say that word again for sure because it's not gonna like yeah. matter to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every man goes through that, uh, you know, that point. Yeah, hell yeah. Well, puberty. I mean, it's not, in a sense, <laughs> it's not, I mean, it's kind of the same. I mean, but like. It's right. another f age. Of, it's another form it's of mental puberty. puberty. Mental puberty. It's like, okay, your nuts dropped, right. but you still think like a child. Yeah. Right, right, right. Now you got to yeah. put a man brain behind those man nuts. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, exactly. But, you know. No exactly. Yeah. That, was a, that was a great way of putting it for mm -hmm. sure. Um, but, like, me personally, man, like, it was, a, I had to have a realization moment. When I when I launched my brand in 2020, um, I was working on it in 2019, but, like, man, you got to, when it comes to like this brand stuff, even like podcast, like you gotta be so dialed in into what you're doing to not give a fuck about anything out, mm -hmm. like anything. So I think for me, coming in swinging, like I was coming from left field as far as all right, people really didn't know that I was creative. So me trying to showcase or like tell people, all right, yo. Damn, they're convinced. Can, can, exactly. So trying to, like, convince them, like, yo, I, I'm a creative. Like, uh, this is what I'm doing and everything. You really got to, like, be so dialed in to make them a believer. Yeah. Um, and, did, no, my fault. But did you relate to that Genius documentary on Netflix? Yes. I was about to say, just, just based off what you said just there, it's like, that's that was yeah. kind of the hardest part about that whole shit was, like, yeah. you saw the nigga. Like, this is Kanye. This is a god today. 
But you saw the nigga get fronted on at one point in time. And like and, go through that struggle of really trying to make shit shake till it's loose. And you saw what happens when you do shit for you and not out of trying to convince people. Yes. Because trying to convince people will lead you down a dark path of like drugs and you end up meeting Diddy and shit. Yeah. But it, that's Which why you gotta, stay, you gotta stay on your path, <laughs> yeah. nigga. But, but yeah, nah, that's that's true. Yeah. That's Hell true. Yeah. yeah, man. And so like, like he was just kind of mentioning as far as just like, Yo, being like, yay, the gen- like that documentary, like literally everything I'm going through right now, and we try to document as much as what I'm doing and everything, because it's it's literally what it what that yeah. documentary is showing right yeah. now. Like I be going through my my stuff, like I like shit, man. Like I definitely be like, yo, like what, like is this the thing we supposed to be doing and all this stuff? But how Ye was so dialed in into his craft, that's how I am too, man. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm just like, you can't tell, you, you're you not gonna, there's no, it's impossible to like change my mind of what I'm doing now or to like detour me or to like, yo, give it up. Like, bro, I am locked the hell mm-hmm. in on everything I'm doing now. And like, I know it's paying off because of just the fact, like, I don't need gratitude gratification from anybody but the fact that kids look up to it is like mm-hmm. that's enough and, and that's it that's all i wanted bro so that's why i'm like okay i can't stop like and for me it i don't want to stop but like now i got like you can't i can't you, you have momentum to, exactly. to where like it's pushing you regardless exactly. you could cause the next but Barack you also Obama. you also have like it sounds like you also even though that was maybe you said that's where you were going for you were you wanted to in, inspire the youth the kids yeah. and those things oh yeah but in doing so and being successful at it, that yeah. now gives your cause even more purpose. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And and the biggest thing is doing it in my own way. I ain't trying to like copy nobody. I ain't trying to be like nobody. Like so, like you, like I'm definitely on like some leadership type shit. But like at the same time, I'm still gonna pop my shit. Like yeah, I'm still sure. gonna, you know, have to. Yeah, you got to because this kids leadership. watching, but I do drugs still. Yeah, you know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna put all that out there, but you know, like I'm, oh, believe it. I forgot this. That's why I was thinking, kids look up to him. We yeah. might ruin his reputation. No, no, no bro. No, no, you no, 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 Don't bring your reputation no, 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 into no, no, Jay Ward's no, no. <laughs> heavenly reputation. No, 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 no. Because no. I like that's you one thing brother. as well. I don't, <laughs> we got the same I, reputation. You know? I don't want kids to think I'm some saint, yo. Like I, mm. I, I, but I'm that's not, the real. I'm not perfect. I like I've gone through my shit. I've, I'm still going through shit. I'm still like I be. I, I do my shit, bro. Like, but you, you. You're striving for better. Yeah, of course. Always, like the path bro. that you want. Always, like you're yeah. not about to become. There's no Rico charges in your future, unless nah. it's some shady business about the skate park. Nah, 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 nah. We, <laughs> nah, we, we, we trying Where you to get the half pipe. We trying to run for mayor eventually, so we got to uh, keep a clean slate. I was, slate I was sure. about yeah. to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. because like oh. your trajectory, for it's real? honestly, yeah, it's, it's on my IG, bro. Yeah, yeah. and ahead, this yeah. is what I be saying. This is why I don't vote because niggas like him aren't running. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. a lot of pressure. They put a lot of pressure on you to, like, hey, nigga, participate in the uh-huh. process. Woo, do, woo, do, woo. But they just want you to choose the lesser of two evil. Yep. These candidates don't motivate me to vote. Yeah. This nigga running for office? Yeah. I might join the campaign. Yeah. Nah, honestly, you you running for office might you know be the best thing for be? me and a lot of people. That's hard. But That's hard. Yeah. But I appreciate it. I, I can see that in your trajectory yeah. just because it just makes sense. You know what I mean? You're for the people. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm and always in clearly niggas like that. Care. Bro, and he has you the ear. You, you have to he care. He has the ear to you, which is very important. Well, not just the ear, but he's tapped into knowing what's going on. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he's bro. listening. He's got the ear to youth. It was an entendre. Where's, where's like, what's the next venture? Yeah, man. Like, I mean, shit, skating, mm-hmm. art. Mm-hmm. It's like, I don't know what's next. Bro. Like sculpting, nigga? Shoot, man. We, we been you, trying to work You better not that. pop out with bowls and glasses, bro, nigga. I'm bro, a, hey, I'm going to buy a set. To <laughs> Look, man, yo, cause like, <laughs> hey, he's going to need one for his yogi dojo. Have, yeah. have you seen Seth Rogen's? Uh, so what Seth Rogen is doing is some of the most craziest shit ever. If I had a, just a spare $400, bro. because he makes what he makes. What does he make? Uh, ashtrays. Ashtrays. Uh, <sighs> but not just regular ashtrays. Mm-hmm. These are, these, like, these are like where the the your joint sits at an angle. Yeah, yeah. Lauren, you're coming for Jamie's spot. Yeah. You are coming you're for Jamie's spot. You're a white man spot. of the year. And another thing, by the way, just real quick. These are handmade, right? Mm-hmm. So it adds another level. By Seth just, Rogen or one of his yeah. men? By oh, Seth Rogen. Seth, okay. He also has a good spot for it that's kind of like a coaster rack almost. Bro. That's like... Bro. Should they come together or is he selling those separately? 
No, it come together. Yeah. Comes together. Okay, and man. yeah. He I'm so the stacking yeah, I would love pottery. to do that. We we're actually working on me and my boy working on a chair right now. So we're trying to like Yeah. Yeah, I'm into like architecture a lot, bro. bro so like design is so crazy. It's so because fire. it's like this didn't yeah. exist until he made it. Yeah. So if everybody started copying this design, it's a whole new like level of thinking and process exactly. that just was made. He made an addition to the lexicon. Bro. Like I was looking at this so back in the fifties and forties, uh, you know, niggas used to drink and smoke. Mm -hmm. So they designed a cup, or this dude, this white dude, he designed a cup to where it sits in between here to where it's slightly tilting, but you can hold a cigarette and still drink and smoke. Dang. Crazy shit ever. Sounds cool, but it probably wasn't that functional. Maybe. Why don't we still have them? But it was cool. Niggas still using straws. Straws is straws work. But it was it's like a the test of time. <laughs> it was like for some some uh, dark liquor. Oh, but nah, what Seth Rogen is doing, I bro. it's beautiful, man. Yeah, bro. You're like you look like you could pour some wonderful sake in that cup right there. You see that shit? So you just it's I get it. You get you, you get and, me. and I get it. And you get me. And that's the hardest part about like doing kind of like what you do. Yeah. Is that like it's so many? It's too many options. Yeah. Like humans aren't made. Well, we're not. That's not true. But it's it's difficult when you have so many options it's to choose from. It's hard to master one thing. It is exactly. So to really be nasty at a bunch of different things, that's yep. kind of crazy. But yeah. it's yeah. also it's also good to do that though. That you know that yes. the, the quote is different. The quote that we always hear is not the full quote. And I'll share the full one with y'all in a minute. But it takes. A certain amount of time to get to 80% of mastering something. My boy Drew used to say this all the time because mm -hmm. he studied and stuff. Or 80% or 90%. Once, once, But the same amount of time it takes to get all the way to 90% of mastery, to go from 90% to 100%, it takes that same amount of time. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do is get to like the 80% level of mastery or something mm -hmm. and then get to something else and get to that level again. Because, exactly. yeah. because you're going to be more efficient that way by learning different things. That's why it's like when you own a business, you want to know all the aspects of it, yeah. right? Not you don't just... need to be the complete ultimate master in it because only certain people need to be that far into that thing exactly yeah but you're still gonna have your core traits like right. when you're building a 2k character mm -hmm. you're gonna be able to you can dunk or be good at defense or shoot or be good at defense right. but you can still have some like playmaking but if attributes. you build it right you can if be you valuable can, in all positions in all positions and if you're valuable in all positions defense playmaking you, shooting you know enough about all positions to understand how to to manage all positions yeah and then you can you can be a a leader, yeah. a voice of reason for yeah. all positions. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, yeah, nigga. Yeah, no. yeah. I thought we were talking about two. Nah, nah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. yeah. A hundred percent. Right. Nah, definitely, definitely. But you know, you know, one good person like that. I'm superly inspired. You mentioned Virgil, bro. Like that's yeah. that's mm -hmm. literally what he did. Like, yeah, that's. He, I have it, like he it, dropped like this little. Uh, he's dropped so much shit. Yeah. But it was this one version. It's like a little book I have. I should have brought it. But um, it's like a little Bible book, and it's just talking about design this and like isms book. The isms, the isms book. The isms book. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Isms yeah that should probably hard. It probably got zip tags and staples on it. It's just basically <laughs> talking about how like just life shit. Yeah. Like the life of a creative, mm -hmm. what you have to do, what you should be focusing on. Mm -hmm. you but you know bought I mean? this book? Uh it was a gift. Okay. Great things like these, like those are usually gifts. Okay. All your great things are gifts, nigga. Yeah, hey, nigga yeah, Jack is the first thing you bought for yourself. <laughs> yeah, I'm not heavenly, <laughs> nigga. I'm anointed. But yeah, most people talk about like you have to choose one thing and that's it. But yeah. uh -huh. I think that's not true. I don't believe in no. that. I think you, you should do a lot of things and you should try to do it all. Yes. Especially right now. Yes. Like this is the time. This. Like 2024 and beyond for Raleigh, North Carolina, it's going to be a lot of crazy shit. So it's like, if you're not doing what you need to be doing right now, you're going to be looking very sick. In a couple of years, I've been already telling a couple of niggas that yeah. it's not the time to be lazy. Nah, I literally. swear to God. Nah. Like, if you're trying to catch up, nigga, you're already two years behind. Yeah, literally. Like, I'm thinking about next year. <laughs> <laughs> right yeah, now. I swear to God. Sure. Yeah. Nah, man, it's beautiful, though. It's beautiful, like, what you're doing. And, like, Appreciate it. I'm, I'm really excited, like, what you have in store. Yeah. Um, of course, uh, I do want to ask you, like, do you have, like, a website yeah. to where, like, you're selling shit? <sighs> yeah, bro. Or is it, all, like, that's on the way for sure, like, as a... 
Nah, I mean, shoot, bro. We sure we try to we try to make it accessible for everybody as much as possible. So I do have like my brands page mm. website, theproudblackbrand.com, uh, where you can like see all the merchandise um, and everything. Shoot, we but we're also in retail stores all on like all on the East Coast and like social okay. status and okay. all those spots and everything. So you can find our stuff in there if it's still available. Um, <laughs> but then I have my by J Ward website. That one is where you'll see like my brain. If you can pull that one up so, yeah, that, so they can that see, one. yeah. What's that one called? Uh by jward.com. That is where you'll see like my world. Bro. This is like, okay. Yeah, where this is I'm like just, a memo. Yes. This is like my I like entire, this already. Yeah. I'm just like kind of dialed in into just like my music, my architecture, just like creating my art. Yeah. This is what you would put in a notebook. But it's just yes, on a website. Exactly. And it's my portfolio when I pitch it to other brands. brands. And like, so I did this Nordstrom thing. I had to create a pitch deck, Smart. send it to them. So this is like now my pitch deck can send to more companies and everything, the, the opportunities. Yeah. And it might be some creatives watching this. You might have to talk about just how important a deck is and how you this, should always have that this on hand. Hard as fuck. Lauren, go back up real quick. This website is hard as hell. I appreciate bro. it, gang. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I I work. This been like a year and a half, two year. Nigga, project, project. this shit is like crazy. I feel like I appreciate it. Yeah, like you can, can they go. see this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Next oh yeah, 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 yeah. Check it out when you get because that's the thing. I want people to just like see like websites is becoming a lost art because like it's social. media. A website is not a billboard. It's a place <laughs> yeah. for people to come and convene. Yes. Mm, <clears throat> yes. I like that. Yes, bro. What page of the Virgil book was that on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like that actually at my sales job. No. Okay. Because uh, we fucking build websites, and it's like it's crazy that I'm like I know that this is important mm -hmm. that a website is not a billboard. Like it has to be this. Yes. Like it needs to be a place to where. Let me see if he uh, did something to it. For sure, exactly. You know if what you, I mean? If you go to, like, projects, go to the projects one, like, bro, I have this freaking Carolina Hurricanes jersey up here. Um, like, this is my Air Force Ones. But this one over to the left, bro, I made that, like, two years ago, bro. Two, three years ago. And, and like, I pitched it to Carolina Hurricanes, like, two years ago. And I... But, it is what it is. Oh, I ain't shit. Like, it it is what Gucci it is. right there. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, bro. I just like, I hate it's not showing the full joint. But um, but yeah, bro, like, bro, I just I be I just be dialed yep. in, bro. I be dialed in on just stuff, bro. NFTs. That was when I did the John Wall design for the tournament and everything. Um, and that one. Uh oh shit, you did the shit for the uh, what do they call it? The, John Wall Holiday Club. Yeah, the John Wall Holiday Club. Invitational? Yeah, John the Wall Invitational. Holiday. That's yeah, the word yeah, I was Yeah, yeah, So I wanted to design. That was the design of the tee. And, like, bro, them joints, like, people are still, like, I had somebody offer, like, yo, I'll spend $200 if you got one of them shirts. I don't I don't have the shirts. But, like, people are, like, reselling them and stuff mm -hmm. and everything. So, yeah, bro. Um, we all over the place, though, man. That's I what just, I'm saying. This yeah, is the film. Yeah, bro, Shit. yeah. The, the film is fire. I can't even, the part one is fire, and we just... <laughs> We, like part two is gonna be we trying to we trying to pitch this to like film festivals and stuff. So I know like that's gonna be crazy. Yeah, nigga, nigga. If you need, where's a twenty four? No, literally, <laughs> nigga. If you need yeah, any help in our capacity, we can provide. Yeah. Nigga, I'll work with you for sure because sure. you do ill shit. Yeah, I appreciate it, bro. I you do no, ill for things for real, for real. I appreciate that, and yo, like. I love what y'all doing, so yeah, bro. I, I, I'm also like, I got some plan for, uh, especially like later on this year. I would love for y'all to be a part of that for 100%. sure. Any capacity, nigga. 100%. For sure. Nah, nigga, this is hard. As long as you ain't asking for money, I don't, I don't really have a lot of that right Yeah. <laughs> I got time. Nah, bro, I got time and charisma. I got nigga. a lot of time. Which one would you like? Charisma out the ass. I'll crack a joke, but nah, man, like, it, it, I feel like this was the perfect. By the way, we haven't done an interview in a while. Mm. So, like, this is honestly the perfect, like, introduction. Okay. You know what I mean? Because you're just a cool-ass nigga. You do a bunch of cool shit. Appreciate and, like, you're all about black people. Yeah. Hell yeah. Love us, bro. I just in a, a good real brother. way. Yeah. In a yeah. way that, like, you're not trying to just camp yeah. and get people to feel a certain nah, way about bro, you. Nah, you don't say something bro. about black women one episode and then come back the next and now they black bitches. It's exactly. like, yeah, you're nah. consistent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that's what sure, I appreciate. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Not a grifter at all. Yeah, yeah no yeah. grifting. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And But you see, that's the part where A&T kind of taught me that. You know what I'm saying? That's like, funny. Ah, yeah. that's because, hilarious. Yeah, and did you, well, I forgot, did you graduate or drop out? I graduated. Okay, that, yeah, that's the difference. It makes, yeah, yeah. makes all the sense. Of the and because it subjugates you mm -hmm. to nothing but black people. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And and on, even on top of that, well, 
I mean, shoot, when I was like my mom and dad, they went to St. Aug, so like I was raised on the campus. Here exactly. Too, so I died. So I really all I seen was black people. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. like figuring out how to connect with them. My mom being in a sorority, so like meeting all the women and all that stuff. Mm-hmm, like and all mm-hmm. like shout out the deltas. Shout out to the deltas. Yes. Shout out to shout the deltas. Out. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Yo. AKs too. They cool. Yeah, but yeah, I like yeah, the deltas. Yeah, Devon. No, deltas. No. The, the, deltas structure. the deltas treated me well. Yeah, they always gonna do that for sure. <laughs> I mean, they, they show love. Uh-huh. Show the Delta's are cool though. Delta put you on a first class flight, nigga. AKs, they a little, you know, stuck up. I mean, like that's the thing about mm, pretentious. It. They cool though. They're problems, like Lauren. <laughs> yeah, problems. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah go <laughs> watch the <laughs> next. <laughs> the last episode for the problems. As I Joe, y'all get it. Yeah. But uh, nah, man. Uh, seriously though, like you do, uh, you do a lot of cool shit. I appreciate it. Man. Um. I wish you had more shirts on hand. That's why I was asking, like, I, you got to have a website so niggas can buy something. Yeah, hell yeah. I mean, all right, so go back to buy J-War really, really That's quick. That's right here. I kept it up. Oh, yeah, bet. All right, so if you go to shop. Uh, mm-hmm. Store. Store, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me see. I know I only have. You still got the Raleigh tees. I still tees. got the Raleigh tees. The hat, I might got like two or three left mm-hmm. tucked um, and everything. But like I rock with y'all, we can talk afterwards that way. We can because I would love to have y'all some merchandise, bro, hundred percent. So yeah, we can talk about that. Nigga, um, I'll throw this hat away. You know what? <laughs> hey, look, hey man, hey. hey, we might have to. That might have to be a promotional piece. You yeah. throw that shit away, you put on a fucking J Ward. I'm gonna buy another one so I can <laughs> keep it. Yeah. <laughs> That'll just be for the campus. Hey, but on but the camera, no. I'm gonna wear the J Ward hat. What yeah. Size, what size T you wear? Extra large, large. Yeah, we wear large. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. We might have to work together, but yeah, yeah. that's. It, but this is what, because I was curious. Like you have to have some where somebody can go buy this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, uh, I mean, shoot, bro, that. But then probably like brand got some merchandise. Of course, too. yeah. Of course. I try. I definitely like. See, it's not really about the, uh, the money. Is cool. Like, but the thing that I'm trying to do is like, as far as getting this message out, I want people to understand that like before they buy anything from me, know what I'm about. What's first. the purpose? What's the purpose? Right. Exactly. What am I about? Because, like, anybody is selling merchandise, and it's like, if I buy something, then the next day you saying, yo, fuck this. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, like, bro, but the shirt says living positive and going, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And it's like all that. So, I, like, my thing is always just, like, authenticity, but also being genuine on what you're, what you're about. So, like, you know, mine is just being a people person, but also knowing, like, look, I'm a... I'm, I'm a regular dude just trying to figure out life at the same time. So, like, I'm just so happy to make cool, dope shit. And I feel like it's the hardest shit in the city, yeah. maybe in the world. Because I, I could go anywhere and, like, anytime somebody runs into me, bro, I, it, it, I, it's crazy how connections and just, like, energies happen yeah. and everything. But, like, people show love, bro. People show love to what we building and stuff. But I just need the city to know, like, Bro, what I, you, you need uh, you yeah. need to support in order to continue going. And unfortunately, in a city where some people don't want to see you, you know, Sean. hate, you know, so yeah, it's part of it. It's part of territory, but so yeah. you know, you great. On. I was yeah, about to say, man. Question, yeah, it's weird, man. A lot of people, it, it's weird. Riley, a weird place because I've I, you'll hear stories of like people not wanting to work together, but then you don't experience that shit. Like you just. Are around a bunch of niggas that would be willing to work with You'll you. You'll experience it though. We've experienced experience that a little bit, okay. but it, it's a weird place. Like, but there is a lot of uh, slippery. There's slip- a lot more. I think there's a lot more opportunity for community than people love to show. Or yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because for the most part, when there's a lot of dope shit that's happening in Raleigh. Yeah, exactly. Yes. There's yes. a lot of dope shit around. Always. Always. Yeah. 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 So it's like. From like yeah, and, and most of the people who are doing dope shit aren't afraid to admit the other dope shit that's happening. And of and, course, and I love that. You know what I'm saying, and it, yeah, like just real quick, like is there any like brands you're fucking with that's like just dope to you and Raleigh? I know for me, uh, shout out to uh, Not a Show, everybody behind that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You you know uh, the Not a Show? Not a show. It's basically um, I wouldn't even know how to call it, but it's a free concert. It's you definitely just, not a show. You just pay. Ooh. You pay what you want. So and it's like usually a list of four art four artists like for five, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, they've been doing it for a minute. They don't. That's hard. They hard. Yeah, that's but is there any like other brands in Raleigh that's like uh, out in the fest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. DVMT. I just went to that to yeah. that joint. That was my first show actually when I seen you there. Really? That was my first one. Yeah. I mean, bro, like, 
Yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. I, I rock with what they do. I see the formula, yeah. and once I drop some more music and everything, I want to rock out of the show. For sure. Show. So, um, but yo, like, so there are some brands, man. There are some brands, um, some that kind of come to mind. Um, okay, so like my home, he support, like, you know, as far as like on the Raleigh side, dude, uh, 919, um, 919 brand. Um, mm-hmm. it's pretty cool. Like, he's doing a lot of good community stuff. So, like, what he's been doing is like, He'll he'll create these shirts and he'll give them out to like the basketball teams and they've been rocking them. Mm, but like hard. like the way how he's just going about it in the city is like very genuine and he's on some real like type of vibes, bro. And, and that's how you do it. Pure. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, so like I what what gets my attention as far as like when it comes to brands in the city is like you anybody can sell a shirt, but like what experience are you trying to do behind that? Like, and I can also pinpoint like. If you really like in it for you know in in this yeah this is this is real bro yeah. this is a real this this is you gotta like you gotta be dialed in because it's a lot of like it's it's rough like it gets rough but like mm-hmm. I can see when somebody's going through that but I, I mean I definitely got shout out my boy um my boy Jay Bird like he um he get his brand called Good Cotton and like me and him went to the T we've been on this way for a very long time so Angry me and him. Cry. Yeah, me and him kind of dialed in, and he's from the city and stuff like that. Um, I want to name one more because there's, like, a few people that support me, and I definitely want to, like, shout them out. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a girl. Uh, her name is Renee. She has a brand called Safel. Um, She's a photographer, but she's, like, pushing her stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, let me see. There's one. I know there's one more fire brand I could think about. Um, uh Man, uh, yeah, on the spot. yeah, I was about to yeah. say, blame his mind, not his heart. Yeah, 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 man. Because yeah. I mean, like, uh, <laughs> you're it, in his heart, just not his brain. And it's no offense, like, but like, I can't lie, like, I like with social media, I'm really like in my own world. Yeah. So like, I don't be. Well, I understand that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't. I, I don't be well. trying to. But the ones you do know. But the ones I do know, the ones that show love, and the ones that because and uh, the ones that inspire. Exactly, exactly. The ones that's doing what they're do- doing, some great work, I will pay attention and see what's going on with that. But like, because it's hard not to. Exactly, exactly. Um, so yeah, man. But at the end of the day, I want to see Eric. Like, if you making money from, or you need that to eat, or whatever it is, like, yo, just keep pushing it. You know what I'm saying? And um, if if you can inspire a kid mm. to do something to get them out of whatever it is or whatever, yo, like, that's all I kind of ask when it comes to, like this brand stuff. So, yeah, man. But people that do got the brand, shout out to y'all. And one quick, one more like the uh, last question, like with your music that uh, you're gearing up to drop, yeah. is it, it, I hope I'm not going to be hearing you call, you know, our sisters, the B word, any of that. And That's what your of, job. What type of music, like, <laughs> and I know this is a hard question, especially for an artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, if you had to describe, like, what type of art do you want to push out to the world in, in terms of music? <sighs> All right, so... All right, so I need people to feel me on this because, like, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to gravitate. Like, you got to get people's attention first, like, first and foremost, right? So, like, I could come on on a, a pause, but I could I could pull up on a way of, like, with the music of, like, yo, okay, let me, let me be on, like, my... Steve Lacey, because I'm I, I listen to like a lot of that type of music too. Shout out the internet. Uh, Frank, yeah, the internet. Yo, those like yeah, I just yeah. I've seen Sid at something in the something in the water last year. She's amazing. Like, Sid is crazy. Yo, like it's a I, bunch so, of beautiful artists. Oh yes, yeah, I'm, Sid I'm, goes crazy. I'm dialed in. Like this dude named Tommy Richmond right now. He he's real tight with Brent. Oh, that he was just featured on his tape. Yes. Tommy Richmond is hard. He is, bro. Fucking hard. It's a lot of it's a lot of fire artists coming. Yeah. To, like like really going hard. He's up too. Really going hard. So like I gotta I gotta shout out like just of that level of artistry. Mm-hmm. Now just just listen to me at this. So like we're in the city, we in Raleigh, and like what sounds are y'all used to hearing here? Like it's like a it's I feel like it's a it's either a niche group. Yeah. Or it's like a somebody. It's, it's literally two extremes. Yeah. It's either like you're either working with Mez yes. and them niggas, yes. them Dreamville niggas, yep. or, you know, shout the band Saints. Shout okay. the, the, uh, Just O'Mobbin. The fucking, Just the Justo Mobbin. Well, Just yeah. O'Mobbin is like his own, he's his own, own entity. Thing. He's okay. his own fucking thing. He's a special guy. But, uh, your bear bosses. Okay. Yes. Mm, okay. So either your Mez or your Bear bosses, exactly. and those are kind of the two normal extremes. And that's where I'm getting at with this. So like, I just want people to know, like, 
This shout is, out Beer Boss. This is not a shout out Beer Boss. Um, this is not a facade of what like with this music thing, but like I want people to see another world outside of my outside of my other stuff. So like mm -hmm. I'll be popping my shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like so if I'm if I'm talking about stuff that I'm either copying and stuff. Yeah. That may be initially, but I do want to gravitate into the like yeah. longevity. But yeah. I gotta attract my, I gotta get kids' ears. You gotta bro. find your voice. That too. So I'm experimenting. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm always experimenting sounds and everything. So like, if I do this EP, it's gonna be a whole bunch of waves of just different sounds. But mm -hmm. like, um, it, it it's one of those things. Like, I mean, I can't, bro. I listen to a lot of music. So like, I like it's really. Right yeah, it's well, hard. Right now, I'm like, I'm going, like, Baby Drill is like, like, bro, he's go, bro, that's my guy. Shout bro. out Baby Drill. Shout out Baby Drill. So, like, I just listen to music, and I try to, like, I just try to, like, work as mm -hmm. far as, like, who I am as a person and what I want to be perceived yeah. as as a person to the world, bro. Yeah. So, the music, it may, it may, and you may hear it in this one sound, then you may hear something totally different. Mm -hmm. But just know that I'm just... In my own world, yeah, so don't hold me yeah. to nothing. But I'll never disrespect um, by calling a girl out their name. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll never do that. But um, you know, at the same time, you know, like, shoot, man, I'm I'm a guy like I love women, I love fashion, I love clothes, yeah. I, I just do stuff, bro. Yeah. So it's gonna pour out in the music. Uh, it has to. It has to. It's if almost it, inevitable. If it doesn't, you're lying. Boom. And you're lying if you're you're lying for them. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. Which also means you're lying to yourself. Yeah. That's two lies. Yeah. Once in That's a double lie. That's it. That's Fuck. it. It's almost you're going to hell at that point. That's it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, man. Yeah, I, nah. I, I do appreciate Why do you. Why you call women bitches? Refer to them as bitches. That's isn't that the, you're that's, fucking. Isn't that kind of worse? Referring to them as bitches? I yeah, thought like, calling them. Well, because when you call them no, that, you're calling normally calling them, a group calling or somebody. a specific person. But when you refer to them all as that, then that's like, nah, whoa. Nah, nah, Jay. It's almost like you're not listening to. I'm good with words. Oh. Watch this. <laughs> so basically, right when you're calling somebody, <laughs> when Tony, look at me. When you're calling no. somebody the b word, it's like I'm talking to you. Like Tony, you are the b word. But like referring to a person as but the B-word. It's, calling, almost, it's almost like a third person. But when you're calling somebody that, there may be some validity to what's happening as to why you're calling them that. When you're referring to them as this, then you're saying that they are this no matter what. Mm. And this is why you shouldn't call women the B-word <laughs> overall. <laughs> Especially around us because we respect our women. That's yeah, why, they, yeah, that's why yeah. they're asking me that because hey, it's just one of those things. My, my, fan, like my base, my fan base is probably 80% women for real, for real. They love That's what solid. I'm doing and stuff. So like, you know, I gotta always show love. Um, I love the women, man. They they are awesome. Like, they, and they support. They just Women like, support um, out the ass. They don't care about no the price, but they don't need ass. Like how much is they will support. Yep. I don't even care if you got a bed frame. Literally. Yeah. You, you believable. <laughs> they witch you. Yeah. <laughs> you believable is over. Yeah. Gotcha, yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. But, um, yeah, this is, Oh, oh shit! Hold on, we can. I was about to say this is a lot, but before yeah, one more lot. question for you though, yeah, like yeah. honestly, like if you had like this was the last memo, okay, you had to give the world. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, what would you want a young black kid to hear? You know what I mean from you as like your last words, and mm. then after you answer, I want him to answer. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that bullshit. Um. Generic classic answer, but you know, question. But I, I do like to, yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, what I would tell a black kid, like, because for me, mm -hmm. I really had to like teach myself a lot, like, growing up. So I stayed <clears throat> to myself a lot. Yeah. The first thing I would probably tell that kid is like, yeah. I still feel like I'm that kid, like as far yeah. as how I think and the things I'm into. And You'll stuff, always right? be a student. Always be a student. So yeah. what I would first tell that kid is like, appreciate your youthfulness, but really like expand your horizons while you're a kid, because you never know what's going to like be yeah. your like thing when you get to a certain age where mm. you can make a business out of it or do whatever you want out of it. But like, 
everything I do resorts back to my child, the stuff that I was into Literally. and stuff. So like what you're seeing it poured out to, whether it's the art and stuff, like it's from things I was infatuated with. So I would say that first and foremost, but also like that comfort zone thing can be a beast, bro. Like, cause I, if, if, if I didn't start being boisterous, like there's no way I would be able to do what I'm doing. So I would probably more so tell one of the, tell a kid, like put yourself out there in the most genuine way and let the world kind of get to know you. Mm-hmm. Let the world get to know you because man, I, I'm, I, man, I don't want to go through a, uh, on a rabbit hole, but like I meet a lot of different creators. We all have a, the same similar, similar story. We were all very closed off. We felt judged. We felt like people were Absolutely. against us. Like, you know, like you just like you get, you isolate yourself. You really isolate yourself and mentally, mentally that, it, 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 yeah. Hey, listen. Like that message you had was so serious. I wanted to make a joke at my friend's expense, but it was yeah. just so real. I couldn't. No, yeah. no, 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 no. So bro, but that's but that's literally the mental game, bro. But what you that's <laughs> but probably because it's facts, though. It's facts. That's probably one of the uh, best. Yeah, most times you're when you're a creative person, uh, that creativity comes from, of course, the outside world and seeing that. But a lot of times from being with yourself enough to uh, process the outside world or what it yes. is and what it means. And yeah, bro. Which goes back and all that. Which and, goes back and, to not procrastinating. But also yep. being with yourself enough to understand mm-hmm. what what you're feeling or what it is and trying to explore that. Be okay with losing. Is that what your last memo would be? I would probably, you know, that's well, mm, that's, that's just overall one. the yeah. The you grand might want to get that tattoo before we had as many material Olympics. I was about to say the grand is going to be one of your most. You're crazy. You, you, you have no idea. I'm training, <laughs> but, except the L. <laughs> but that is that is important though. Yeah, like just not being afraid, like to take that risk, put yourself out there. I agree. And if I could yeah. do it all over again, that's probably be the only thing I would. But at the same time, I wouldn't change it because it also mm. helped me. You hit. get here. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Something went right. Yeah. So I probably would tell you, know, be yourself. Be yourself. Be yourself. Goodness bro. gracious. Yeah. What would you tell him, Tone? I'd probably tell him, be yourself if you are good enough. And if not, you know, try to be somebody else. Get, like, that's always, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, what the? <laughs> what? like, if yourself what? is a degenerate, like, yeah. if, if yourself yeah, yeah. is a heroin addict, yeah. you might want to try to be a Barack Obama. Come yeah. On. I, I get where you're going because I have a lot of kids that say like. So wow. you're saying find someone to aspire to, find who literally find someone who can do it, or who has you. done it, yes. and then do what they did and get where they were. You just I had to help him out. He was falling. Fuck you he was and him. No, hold <laughs> on, nigga. Fuck. What do you want to say to a I black ju- kid? I just <laughs> did. Nigga, don't be afraid to lose, yeah, yeah, nigga. Yeah, 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 what yeah, you gonna yeah, say yeah. to Asian baby? Same thing. All children are the same amongst God, mm. even the Indian ones. All no, of them. But J Ward. <laughs> Do appreciate you coming, my nigga. Uh, honestly, all, this is probably like the best way to get back in the interviews. Like, you was yeah. just cool ass nigga. Can we get his website up yeah. one more time? I got you. you. Still need to do these for the people. I too, think. Though. Should we do those? We'll, let's this do, week, we'll or do those we do later. That? We'll do okay. those later. Nah. But can we please get his website pulled up? Yeah, absolutely. This right. fabulous fucking website. Yeah, man. By Jay Ward. Please, if you don't even go there to buy none, just go check the website out. Check it out. See all. See the vision. Yeah, bro. See uh, the vision, nigga. It, go to go to film, or you could go to film or allies because uh, that just shows all the companies. I it don't even with. matter; they both crazy. But these are all photos I've taken on my film camera, bro. Like that was um, <sighs> like, this nigga takes photos too. Yeah, that's the Rocky concert, Rocky. Hey, ASAP, ASAP Mob, listen, I'll be in Harlem yeah. soon. It's lit. Oh, Fuck with a nigga. And I was trying to read your head. Is, is that an old oh, head? Yeah, yeah oh, I just yeah, couldn't yeah. see Rock, it. Yeah. Rocky's one of my influences yeah. for was, sure as a kid. Yeah. Yeah. I, must, yeah. I, I wanted some old merch yeah. to drop, but I was impoverished. Yeah, no, a- it's all good. ASAP Mob is just like, yeah. I hate it ain't showing the bitch on yet. Oh, and then the billboards, like, that was crazy, like, two years ago when we made that happen, bro. Like, that was basically my trophy for the city. Like, you know what, the man? trophy for the city. Like, and it's like, you're using yeah. the black colors. Yeah, come on. That's the black colors, nigga. The city needed to see it, bro. They needed to see it. <laughs> yeah. Them niggas was lacking foresight. Bro. <laughs> you oh, said yeah. let that be light, nigga. Yeah, man. So, yeah, bro, we just working, man. I But my biggest thing now is just, like, I want to work with more people, collabing, and just, like. Because that's what it is. That's what it's all that's about, literally man. That's what it's all about. all you can do. Yeah. Yeah. Go sure. all the way down, Lord. How many? Let's make Eloi the 13th. <laughs> yes, 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 y
Bro, for sure. Is, is that possible? Yeah. Can we find yeah, a way? For sure. We'll get our white man on it, nigga. We're going to two of them soon. Today. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. But nah, man, Um, I appreciate you coming out. Appreciate y'all. This is Jay Ward. This has been the Jay Ward interview. Mm -hmm. We told y'all he was going to be a cool nigga. If you got to this point, you're welcome. Hopefully you learned something. You know what I mean? Especially, you know what I mean? It's... It's hard times. Yeah, hopefully so. you inspired because this is a creative nigga. This everybody, shit done. everybody needs some guidance, nigga. Collab together, teamwork. Come on, man. That's Goodness the, gracious, that's the way of the life, man. That's nigga, it. Coach K probably smiling right now. <laughs> Jay Ward, man. Jay fucking Ward. Uh, IG one more time for the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, J dot Ward underscore underscore. That will just take you to the entire world. I got a whole bunch of other handles, but J dot Ward underscore underscore. Nah, my brother. That's the center of his universe right there. Uh, yes, sir. Appreciate you popping out. Y'all solid, pimping. man. I appreciate you, man. You're curly. Don't make me blush, man. Don't make me blush, man. <laughs> so you curly. But nah, man, it's been good. It's been great. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. We might have to might finish the Wild Wise later. But we'll do it on the next episode. For all intents and purposes, thank you for watching. Love y'all. Jay Noble. Stone Groove. White Man Behind the Boards. Yeah. Jay Ward. Yes. We are. Uh, <laughs>